All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, I hope my voice is coming clear, and please invite your friends. And let us see how good uh, today our discussion will be. Uh, I received, uh, you know, some text from Filipino Muslims. Uh, actually, I cannot even call them Filipinos because, you know, Muslims don't belong to any country. They believe that their own citizenship is Islam only. And that is under the, Ar the Arabian agenda. Islam is a religion uh, to dominate by using the Arabism, which means everybody, everything have to be an Arabic. You pray to God in Arabic, you call yourself an Arabic name, you eat Arabic food, you dress like Arab, you talk like Arab, and then you are a Abdul, a slave of Allah. Actually, you are a slave of, of the Muslims, Arab. Uh, however, always, you know, uh, the Muslims, they come to us with funny things, and I find it very funny. And they say that they found the name of Muhammad in the Bible. You know, today, actually, I'm going to share with you what I found. I found even the picture of Muhammad. And I don't know if I can describe something better than this. Why Muslims cannot find Muhammad to be a prophet in their books? So they try to make him a prophet in our book. I mean, can't you Muslims find me your prophet in your book as a prophet? Who is a Muslim can prove to us that Muhammad is a prophet of God based in his book? Why you are so desperate to find a name of somebody you Muslims claim that their books is corrupt. Aren't you day and night you keep saying to the Christians, your book is corrupt, your book is corrupt. You keep saying that to the Jews and the Christians. And then you come to us saying the, the name of our prophet in your Bible. I mean, is that stupid or, or, or crazy or mad? Or are you, are you Muslims, are you, are you taking hashish? Are you under the influence of hashish? Those people they keep saying to us, your 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 book is corrupt, your book is false. Uh, you have one million version of the Bible, which one? And then they come to us and they say they found the name of Muhammad in the Bible. All right. <clears throat> Filipino guy, he said to me, uh, can you answer me about this verse? And this is supposedly yesterday. I asked him to come and debate me and discovered he bought, he posed for me in Facebook saying to me, hey, uh, he, you, what happened to you? You are silent now? Huh? You have no answer, right? And I look at the what what what, what verse he is talking about. So I, I, I found that this is the verse he's talking about. All right. <clears throat> this is the verse, the Muhammadan in Facebook was talking about this is the name book the name of the book chapter 18 verse number 18 I mean Abdul are you dumb or you stupid are you crazy are you hilarious you are <laughs> it says it says I will raise up from them <laughs> from them <laughs> from, from the Jews is your prophet a Jew Seriously, Muslims, is your prophet Muhammad a Jew? This is a verse been said for the Jews, speaking to the Jews. I will raise from between you, Jews. Is your prophet Muhammad a Jew? Hmm? Is he? Is he? Come on, say it, say it, say it, say it, please, please say it. I mean, it says from 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 one from them, one from them, and then a prophet like you from among their brothers. Are you Muslims? Are brothers? Are you Muslims? Is the Arab our brothers? You know the the <clears throat> the the funny. The Muslims even don't read their Quran because even their stupid Quran says the following. Let us go to the Quran and laugh. Should we? I think we should. Because, you know, uh, uh, th things become more sensitive when we open the Quran for the Abdul. Uh, they cry. 
they fly. I just yesterday, I, I you know, I challenged many Abduls. I receive emails from people saying that there is Muslims, and they gave me their account and then Facebook, etc., saying that those Muslims they want to they are looking for a Christian to debate. So I said, okay, that's a great opportunity. Let us debate with them. You know, so we contacted them, the Muslims, the Muhammadan. They said to me, uh, we are looking. Uh, you know, uh, we are not looking ready for a debate. <laughs> Uh, we are not going to debate with someone the you know he don't uh, show his face oh lord have mercy muslim do you want to see my face you want to see my face or you want to debate me my face huh what if i show my face you will not debate me anyway i'm sure uh look what the quran uh, says about prophets how Allah he sent the prophets supposedly this is a chapter <clears throat> I mean this website starts having advertising now what is that chapter 14 verse number four huh? chapter 14 verse number four the one is talking is Allah Muslims this is not our book this is your book all right you can choose any translation you wish no problem let me zoom in. I mean, this is disgusting. And I don't know. This is what. Why I'm receiving this advertising here in the banner? Hmm. Should I stop using this browser? Maybe it's a browser issue. I keep closing it. It keep coming up. Anyway, we sent not a messenger except to teach in the language of his people, his own people. That Abdul, that verse you are talking about from the Old Testament speaking to the Jews. So, in order for Muhammad to be a prophet for the Jews, he have to be from the Jews and he speak the language of the Jews. And Allah in the Quran, in the time of Muhammad, he is saying, We never send, never ever send a messenger unless he is from the people, which means he was sent to a mess messenger from the nation. To that nation, speak in the language of his own nation. Muhammad is not from the Jews. He don't speak the language of the Jews. And this is against the teaching of the Quran. So I'm not sure who is the stupid one who told you. I, it, it, I think the one who started this is Didat because Didat, you know, he spent his time trying to find the, the name of his prophet in the Bible, but he never read his Quran. You see, those people, they are memorizing. They don't understand even what they are memorizing. Isn't it saying clearly that I never ever sent? And this is a verse was given to Muhammad in the time of Muhammad, supposedly from his God by the, liver, the delivery boy. Uh, his name is Jibreel. Jibreel come to Muhammad's door. Hold on. Open the door. Hold on, hold on, Jibreel. I'm just eating hummus. Open. It's very important. Come on, I'm eating hummus. Just wait. And no, you cannot, you cannot share hummus with everybody. Now, Muhammad opened the door and Jibreel he said to him, We send not a messenger except to teach in language of his own people. Muhammad he said, I speak Arabic. I swear by Allah, I'm speaking Arabic. He said, We heard you speaking to the Jews. Don't you know that Quran said, Speak to the Jews, not in their language, because you have to speak in your language and you have to be from the Jews in order to preach to the Jews. I mean, all the story here in the hadith, or the story that the, the Quran, which is a hadith, by the way, is contradicting the whole story and whole idea of Muslims saying that Muhammad is international messenger. How he is an international messenger, but yet the Quran says, we never send a messenger unless he speak the language of his own people. Which means, in order for Muhammad to be an international language, international messenger, he have to be a person who speak all languages in the world. Do we have any Muslim here disagree? Do we have any Muslim? Disagree. Hello, guys. Are we? Are we? Uh, uh, is it? Is it? This is a good challenge. This is their Quran saying, 
Allah never never he never sent not even one any messenger unless he sent him to his own people speaking the language of his people in their tongue so how Muhammad is going to be international messenger one of you is a stupid either the one who made this verse or you Muslims choose one anyone hello if there is any Muslim here would lean to to call me life if there is any Muslim here is willing to call me life I'm trying to disable this advertising it keep coming to browse browser any I do have an answer for this so they have a big mouth speaking copy paste and no one have an idea what he's talking about now you know to be honest with you I found a verse in the Bible about Muhammad I have to, I have to admit I mean what can I do what I can do I found it I mean we, we Christians we have to admit the truth let me show you the verse about Muhammad this is a verse made specifically huh, about Muhammad this Hmm. Which one you want Muslims to deliver first for you? You see, this website is collecting verses supposedly about Muhammad. Hmm? Which one you think fit perfect for your prophet? Hmm? Which one? Muslims, who want to help me? Who is the Muslim is willing to help us to tell us which verse of those verses is about your prophet? I'm sure we have many Muslims there, right? You see here in Second Peter chapter two, but false prophets also wrong arose among the people. Now I challenge the Muslims. To tell me how Muhammad he earned the title of a prophet. Any Muslim can do that. Be aware of false prophets who come to you in a sheep clothing, but mm, obviously they are not, they are wolves. Now, Muhammad, in the beginning, he was coming to us in a sheep clothing. This is why, if you remember, when a Bedouin he entered the mosque and he unzipped his uh, panty you know and he's a Muslim this this Bedouin is a Muslim you believe it this Bedouin is a Muslim he grabbed his uh, private part and he start pissing in the mosque Muhammad now he plays sheep yeah very peaceful he said let him let him finish let him finish the guy please finish please finish your uh, this did you finish your piss please sir did you do you need a towel or something? Do you need to wash your hand or something? And the guy was like pissing and Muhammad had no problem. He is pissing inside the mosque and Muhammad is not complaining. Okay. What happened? Why Muhammad at that time he did not get upset? The man is pissing in the mosque. And Muhammad is having no problem with that. Why? Let me show you the hadith. Uh, Lord have mercy.
Look at this, look. Look at this. Anas ibn Malik narrated that a desert Arab Bedouin stood in the corner of the mosque. This guy is a Muslim. <clears throat> he is a very beautiful, beloved Muslim, Muhammadan. But he liked to piss in the mosque. I mean, he, everybody have a hobby. Everybody in this earth, trust me, have a hobby. This guy, he have a hobby. He piss in the mosque. He save his pissing until he go to the mosque. But he's a Muslim. And the proof is a Muslim. He was sitting between the Muslims inside the mosque. Why somebody he is not a Muslim will be inside the mosque? You know what I mean? Obviously, he is a Muhammadan. It's very obvious. All right. Then, the guy, he stood and he grabbed his uh, host. <coughs> you know what I mean? And he started pissing. You know? By the way, I have no idea if it was like a waterfall. Or it was like a cave water, like like a drop by drop. I don't know how slow, how fast it is. Okay. So now this is the the Bedouin man in the in the in the middle of the mosque. He is pissing, and the prophet, huh? He is watching, and the Muhammad. And they said to him, Prophet, look what he's doing. They want to stop the guy. They want to stop him. And the guy, his uh, penis is uh, dripping water, like this is, you know, you know, and uh, you know, like I mean, and everybody is watching. Allah is watching. The angels are watching. Jibreel is watching. Man, this is a lot of water. What happened? You know, this guy is this guy is leaking. This guy is not pissing. I don't think this was a piss. So, this guy now, he is inside the mosque and he is pissing around and the Muslims, they were upset. I mean, what? What are you doing? What are you doing, man? What the heck is that? I mean, this is not a piss. This is must, must be a dragon pissing. So, they wanted to stop him, but look what Muhammad, the peaceful Muhammad, what he said. Oof. If, if. And by the way, this is a sign of him being a prophet. Look at this. He said, leave him alone. Leave him alone, man. Leave him alone. Okay, hold on, hold on. This is need. This is need some background of music. Uh, sorry, I cannot, I cannot do this. Such an important story and news like this without background music. We have to. <laughs> Once upon the time, there was a man he needed to go, and he was a Muslim inside the mosque, and the Prophet was there, and the Mujahideen was there, and the Caliphate of ISIS. The guy stood up, and he grabbed his penis, and he starts sprinkling all over. The Muslim. What the heck are you doing? The peaceful prophet, peace upon him, said, Leave him alone. Commercial break. If you are a person who's suffering from going to the bathroom every five minutes, we have a medication for you. It's called camel urine. Islamic camel urine can be found in every Islamic store. Don't worry if you have a kidney problem or you die from poison because Allah will bless you anyway. Just drink it and don't worry about it. And Allah will protect you in the grave from the punishment of the grave. Back to the topic. And the Prophet said to them, Leave the guy alone. He just need to piss. And so what if he piss in the house of Allah? I mean, what is more perfect place to piss in? This is the house of God. It is a place made for every man to piss in. Have you ever heard of somebody is being pissed off? And since then, every Muslim he piss in the house of Allah. 
because Muslims are following the Sunnah. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, Muslims, as long as your prophet he allowed people to piss in the mosque and he practiced that. Okay, can we go now and we piss inside the mosque? This is Sunnah, as you see, he allowed it. He have no problem with it. Now, how this guy he can be a messenger of God? You see, there's one thing about the messenger of God. He is going to be full of jealousy, specifically about the house of his God. You know what I mean? A messenger of God who allow people to grab their penis inside the mosque. Suppose this is the house of God and God now is there, especially Muhammad is there. I mean, this is not any mosque. This is the mosque of the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him. Imagine there is no way that Muhammad is inside that mosque and Allah is not there too, watching and drinking coffee. How come Muhammad did not get upset from somebody pissing in the house of God? Do you know, Muslims, what Jesus did when he saw people buying and selling in the courtyard of the temple, not even inside the temple? Do you, Muhammadan, know? Hmm? Do you know? He flipped the tables. He kicked them out. He said, you made the house of my father a bazaar. So how come Jesus... Who is very peaceful who never harm anyone when he saw them doing that in the house of God he flipped their house their, their tables upside down and you're a prophet who is a prophet of God supposedly and he is very violent he allowed people to piss in his mosque do we have any Mohammedan have an answer Imagine, imagine you are and you convert to Islam and you enter the mosque and suddenly somebody stood up and he start pissing around. <coughs> Brother, what is that? Hey, brother, don't worry. This is a, 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 the one next to me, behind me is pissing around. <laughs> and this is piss is bouncing all over. <laughs> I mean, this is amazing. That's amazing. But look, Muhammad, the very peaceful now because he's trying to make anyone believe in him. At that time, Muhammad is weak. He, he just wants believers. It doesn't matter. Even if you piss at Muhammad, he will not complain. But when Muhammad, he gets so powerful. Now, who dare to do that? Who dare? Huh? Nobody. But when Muhammad was a fifi, shishu, susu, you know, he was like a potato. Please, please, piss. Let him piss. Please piss, piss as much. Just believe in me and the prophet, okay? Piss as much as you want. Do you want to piss here? Because you piss there only. If you want to piss here, we can move, all right? Do you, uh, brother, do you like to piss in my place? Maybe you are not comfortable to piss in that corner of the, of, of the mosque. If you like to piss in my corner, feel free. Because he is a hypocrite. There is no way a person who is jealous about his God he will accept that one of his followers will grab his penis and start sprinkling inside the house of Allah. Unless he himself, he knew that he is a fake man. Now, do we have any Muhammadan here would like to call me? Who is the Muhammadan he like to call? I'm going to open uh, Palto. Hoping, maybe, I mean, you never know. Maybe we can get some Abduls to talk to me. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes things happen. Okay, you never know. <clears throat> you never know. Do we have any Muslim here? 
Do we have any Muhammadan? He would like to talk to us. So you Muslims, you keep saying to us, you found the name of your prophet in our Bible. And you know, always I ask myself a very simple question. How come Muhammad, he didn't know that his name is in our Bible? I mean, why Muhammad in the time he was speaking to the Jews, he didn't say to them, okay, book, open the book of Isaiah, chapter, uh, etc. and read my name there. How come? Allah did not inspire him. Allah did not inspire your God. I mean, your prophet, Akka Muhammad God. Your God, Allah, he did not learn that the name of Muhammad in the book of uh, whatever. Until did that, he come over to tell him. So what, your God was ignorant about the Old Testament? Hmm? Who is a Muslim would like to call me? My Skype is on. Just, you do not need to add me, just you can call immediately. It is debate TV. All right? And if there is, I just opened the chat room in um, uh, you can you can uh, put your hand and you can grab the mic if you wish. Anyone? So Muhammad, Muhammad, he himself do not know that his name is in the Bible. He do not know. You do not know where verses, where he never said that, but the Muslims, the Muhammadan today, they knew. And every verse in the Quran contradict that. As we showed you one of them where it says that Allah, if he send the messenger, he will send him only to his nation and he have to speak the tongue of his nation. And what is the excuse of that? So he might speak to them clearly and explain to them clearly. And by the way, Muslims, I have a question for you. Did Muhammad explain anything? Which verse in the Quran, your prophet, he explained? Any Muhammadan would like to tell us? Which verse in the Quran is explained by your prophet? How the Quran is saying, that so he might explain things to you. So if if Muhammad explained the Quran, there is no need to the interpretation of Ibn Abbas and Ibn Kathir and potato and tomato and shish kebab and hummus and falafel. What is the interpretation of your prophet? What do you mean the Quran is saying to explain to them in a clear way? Explain what? Where is the interpretation of the Quran made by Muhammad? Huh? Any Muslim can tell me where where we come from? Isn't it the Quran in chapter three, verse number seven says nobody knows what the Quran means save Allah? So what do you mean in a clear way? Do we have any Abdul? Who is a Muslim would like to call me? We are live and we are waiting for you. Anyone? In case you do not know, I offer since uh, the last 24 hours, many Muslims, uh, I offer them to come and debate me, and the cowards, they all, they back up, and they everyone have his excuse. As an example, the, the guy, the Filipino, who called himself Ustaz, uh, he flagged my post in his Facebook and he deleted them. Which really, I mean, look what this guy he said to me. Look, I, I, I let me show you this one first. This guy, I sent him a message. But he will never answer back. Hello, Mr. Ahmad. Let me know, let me know if you think you can face a Christian prince in live debate on YouTube and Skype. And then I gave you Skype and, you know, since then, I never heard from him anything. Let me show you another example. One by one. Hold on. Hold on. Look at this potato. This potato, he claimed that he is looking for Christians to debate him. And he cannot find any. I think he is originally uh, like a Turkish or something. 
His name is Arkada Duzi, this is Suzy uh, Miraminik. All right. Hello, Mr. Arkazuzi Mozuki. Someone told me you are looking for a Christian to debate you. Well, there is someone. All Mohammedans run away from him. <clears throat> mm -hmm. He will be on air today at 4.30 p.m. New York time, about three hours from now. This is his Skype. Hmm? Call him and be the man. But look like he was insulted because I told him be the man. He don't want to be that man, you know. Okay. And look what he said to me back. He answered me back. I mean, the answer is very brave. Look at this. Let me be sure it is it is big so you can read it better I am looking for a Christian to debate you this is quoting supposedly you have been mis uh, uh, misinformed I'm reacting to com to comments by particular public commentator in my country by challenging those uh, particular people to debate I am not interested to do uh, in people whom uh, who have nothing uh, to do with the public debate. Uh, Abdul, are we in private? We are in public. I mean, is this is a private? There's tens of thousands of people they are going to watch it in YouTube. What is a private about it? A brother from Germany he told me that a Muslim is going to debate him, I think, tomorrow. And I was saying to myself, I mean, why why everybody he can find people to debate him except me? Hmm? Why well, it's very hard to find for me a debater. I just received an invitation here to uh, a TV station. Let us see what is this one is about. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. All right, I will tell him I will. All right, here we go. I receive an invitation to a TV station. I don't know what TV station it is. Or you know, I, I, you know, but uh, the program is about Islam. I will be there. It's going to be uh, in the month of May. Uh, now, by the way, I am, I am, uh, I'm leaving uh, the state after a few days. Uh, but don't worry, be happy. Uh, you will receive uh, videos from me, even when I am not there. Uh, you know, there's some videos are scheduled already to be broadcasted, and there are some videos I will make when I am in my trip. All right, so uh, don't worry about this Abdul who is quoting names. Hey, okay, I mean they, they are upset, but guys, put yourself in the shoe of Abdul. You have a prophet who claimed that if you go to heaven, you are going to eat like an elephant, but there's no piss will come out, only sperm. <laughs> But what a Muslim he will do in the heaven of Allah? He will do this. No. No. He will not dance. A Muslim in the heaven of Allah, he will not even hear music. All day long, he will be sharpening his penis and taking it from a vagina and putting it in other vagina. Actually, I, don't, I can't say every day because if his orgasm is 70 years, I mean, what kind of a stupid heaven this heaven is? People are doing nothing except having sex and and hello. This is heaven. I mean, this is a, this is a, this is hell. Imagine, guys, you enter a bedroom and then you find like 70, 80 women jumping over you, and all of them they want to rape you. And I said, like, please, 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 I am an Arab. I don't know. I have nothing to do with this. 
you know please and no way allah he, he allah he made us allah he made us for this business we are here just for raping you <laughs> and then please please okay can we do it like at least 10 at the time just 10 at the time no we cannot do it 10 at the time we have to do it 80 80 sometimes 100 100 100 i mean this is heaven are you Muslims? Are you serious? This is heaven. This is the most stupid religion for me. Not only is it stupid to believe in, it's dumb. It's crazy. It's it, it's sick. And you know why I wanna you know you 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 see Muslims they speak about Islam is religion, and God, and there is logic. And what is the logic that God He made for me women I never met, and they will open their legs for me the second I enter my room. I mean, what is the logic there? She don't even know who I am. I don't know even who she is. She, and there is another logic which is making me confused. Hold on, hold on. You know I'm very good in uh, in drawing, right? How many of you knows that I am an artist? You know it. All of you, you know what? Come on, don't don't deny that. Oh, we have a call. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. How are you, my friend? Hello, uh, it's Kashim from the other night. How are you? Kashim? I'm on my friend's tablet. How are you, Kashim? Um, I just wanted a ring, and I was I told my imam to get in contact. Okay, is he? And he said, us? "Yeah, uh huh." Is he calling me now? That would be good. Uh, he said, "He he said no." Why so, no? Why no? Tell him I will pay him one hundred dollar if he if he uh, 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 agree to debate me. What do you think? Uh, anyway, so I. I looked into what you said. Yeah. And Jesus, I looked into why Jesus being sinless, Jesus being virgin born, and it didn't add up, you know. Uh, why was he the only man who was sinless? Okay. Why was he the only man virgin born without a father? So what do and you think? I, I used to debate on Facebook, who was a Christian, told me to read Isaiah 53 and Isaiah 9 6. Mm hmm. And uh, I became, I don't, I don't know how to become a Christian, but I'm very convinced right now. All right, so you are serious about this, or you are just here to, you know, be an Abdul? Be honest with me. Are you serious? No, I'm, I'm, very, All right. I'm very serious. Okay, so are you convinced first that Muhammad is a false prophet? Well, if you contradicted Jesus, then yes. Well, it's not about if, you see. Here, there's no if. Either you are convinced or you are not convinced. You know, someone can be sinless and someone not coming from a father. Yeah, well, there's actually there's a reason for Jesus is not coming from a man. You see, if you connect those th two things together, like I am coming from uh, from a sexual relationship, you know, between my father and my mother, and you the, the same, right? Uh, so you no, know, Adam and Eve both are sinners, and every even Muhammad he said every son of an Adam is a sinner, but Jesus is not the son of Adam. Every son of an Adam, this Muhammad statement, not mine. Every son, son of Adam, I can show you the hadith right now as we speak in the front of your eyes, you know, mm. uh, that every son of an Adam is a sinner. Okay, that is a son of Adam. This is explain why Jesus is not the son of Adam. And now if we ask the Muslims, actually, what, you know, what is, what is the, uh, 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 what is the purpose of Jesus not being a son of an Adam? You know what I mean? I mean, I was thinking of it last night, and um, when my imam didn't, when he said no, and he, he couldn't tell me about Jesus being a judge, uh, I I kind of thought to myself, if he doesn't know, then I don't understand. And then I thought to myself, how can you know? How can a man be sinless? Uh, do you, do you see? Do you see in the screen what it says? It says every son of Adam sins. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Every son of the, that's mean no exception. So, what is the purpose of Jesus not to be the son of Adam? I don't understand. You because know. he is not going to sin. Otherwise, he is going to be sinner. For yeah. every son of an Adam is a sinner. You know. And the funny, mm -hmm. the Muslim they say that we don't believe in the original sin. Why Muhammad here is connecting Adam to the sin of his children? Yeah. That uh, that a statement of original sin. So, you know, if I say to you right now, my mother, she gave birth to me and she was a virgin. I mean, this would be funny, right? Yeah. Not only because it's not true, 
but because even if it's true then you need to ask yourself okay what the purpose of this miracle nobody can see it i mean who is going to know what happened with you know to, to to my mother and your mother in the bedroom nobody except them correct mm. anyone can claim that his mother she was a virgin when she gave birth to them this is not a miracle to show because nobody will see it really for real i mean nobody can witness be a real witness for if this woman she was really a virgin or not do i agree uh, yeah usually miracles they happen in front of a crowd like Jesus, he made the blind see. Jesus, yeah, he, but I used he to, I used to, you know, my my parents told me because I've I've taught, I've asked them this, and my parents told me uh, that you know it was just it was Allah who you know who made him. It wasn't Jesus because then Jesus had to pray to God. So, well, Allah he pray Allah he pray to God too. Allah he pray to Muhammad. Allah pray on people. You see, if we go right now in the Quran, you will see this. Let me show you. You know, you know the Muslim, and you know, you are a Muslim. That the Muslim they yes. say, "Sallallahu alaihi wasallam." Yes. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay, what "Sallallahu alaihi wasallam" mean? Well, it's peace to Allah. No. The praise, praise Allah. You no, know. no. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Muhammad. But after they saying, after they oh, saying the name of Muhammad. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Well, they praise Muhammad as well, boss. Yeah, they pray on Muhammad. Okay, why Allah? Okay, yeah, we Allah. Pray. yeah, we wouldn't pray, boss. This is, I don't know how to stop this uh, co uh, commercial, keep coming off. This is the chapter in front of me, chapter 33, verse number 56. The Muslim, they give false translation. It says, Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. The word yusalli, you know what it means, right? Pray. Allah and the angels praying on the Prophet, oh, who you believe, believe and pray on him and salute him. I mean, what kind of religion this religion is? Allah and the angel and the believers, uh, everybody is a praying on Muhammad. Huh? Uh, I have to I have to go. All right, no problem. I just wanted to tell you I didn't understand. All right, no problem. You know, call me if you have more questions in the future. And uh, have you uh, on would, Facebook? I uh, no, call me here live. In in Facebook, you see I receive a lot of messages, and as long as you can use uh, Skype, I mean you just call me here when I am on air, you know, so we can okay. talk. Yeah, okay. Okay. Thank okay. You. Thank you. All right, at least this guy is a being a decent Muslim. Allah and the angels, they are praying on the Prophet. The Muslims in their false translation, they say, oh, here it says Allah, he sent a blessing. If you say so, that will be a disaster. Why? Because it says Allah and the angels. Angels don't give a blessing, my friend. Angels deliver messages. The blessing is from God only. If you say Allah and the angels both are doing a blessing, that's mean angels can bless you and Allah can bless you. But that means you have many gods. For only God can give a blessing. You see, when your mother, she said to you, bless you, she is not really blessing you. She is. This is a short statement of may God bless you. Correct? When you ask your mother or your father or even a, a brother to bless you, he is not giving you blessing. He is just asking, Praying for you to be blessed by God. Blessing come only from God. Blessing and curse come only from one person. Otherwise, people cannot they cannot do anything. Nobody can bless you. But what the point of me saying bless you, bless you, bless you, but then you go to hell. <laughs> you know what I mean? The one who bless you is the one who give you life, the one who give you heaven. Other human being, their blessing doesn't count. They just pray to God to bless you. So here it says, Allah and the angels, they are yusalloon. You see the word yusalloon? This is the word mean pray. You ask any Muslim, what do you want to do? You say, I want to do salah. Salah. Okay, what the verb of salah? Hmm? What the present tense of salah? Yusalli. What is the present tense of a group, pe people of praying? You saloon. It's in front of you. Praying. So Allah and the angels praying on Muhammad. Muhammad is the center of the universe based on this hadith or this uh, uh, verse. Let us make it big. Okay. And you know, I was talking about me as an uh, myself as an artist. I want to show you guys my 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 skills in uh, in, in drawing. Nobody can do what I can do, by the way. I've been offered by many museums around the world to come and teach uh, 
uh, art, uh, but I reject it because I don't want to, you know, I want to keep the art only for my people, the Arab. We are the most artistic people in the world. All right, let me show you some of my drawing. I cannot show you how I can do it, you know, but you can try to learn. Look at this perfect circle I'm going to do. This is Muhammad. The one in the middle. Hold on, this is not in the middle. I have to make it exactly in the middle here. Okay. This is Muhammad. And then around Muhammad, there is a circle. Who is around Muhammad? Let us zoom in. So you guys, most of you are old, not like me. I'm young. You have a bad vision, especially the ladies here. Most of them, they are old, and they claim that they are young. <laughs> Come on, we know it. It's a makeup. <laughs> you know, don't 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 believe them. Okay, the only only mature one was young is Aisha. The rest are doesn't count. Look at this. This is Muhammad in the middle, and then around him, there is Allah and the angels in a circle. I mean, look at this perfect drawing, guys. Can you do that? I mean, be honest with me. Can you do that? You cannot. Admit. Okay, I forgive you. It's okay. That's not your fault anyway. I mean, everybody have a gift. Now, Muhammad in the middle. Let us type the name Muhammad in the middle first. With letter M. <laughs> By the way, I know how to write. <laughs> I'm not like Prophet Muhammad, mashallah. Unbelievable. I mean, we have a prophet who didn't know even how to write his name. That's astonishing. Okay. So Muhammad is in the middle. And then here we have Allah. Allah. We will put his name here at the edge. And then here in the circle, in the same circle, we have the angels. Huh? Uh, the angels, Angelina. And what her what the, what the artist the one the famous artist with the big uh, boobs, what her name? Sylvester Stallone, Sylvester Stallone. So this is the angel Sylvester Stallone with the big boobs. Okay, he is in the circle too. This is the first circle around Muhammad. They are praying on the Prophet. Now, there's a third circle. The third one is here. All right. In the third circle, there is the the wives of Muhammad. That is letter W. You know those uh, guys they do fighting. What they call them W W. What they call them? Because I can show you the verses of Muhammad wives fighting and throwing rocks at each other. You know, and they are making a threat like they are two gangs. You know, two parties. So like W W W fight. What they call it? I don't know. I forgot. So here is the wives of the Prophet. And then there is another circle. The last circle is the Abdul. The Abdul. Uh, let me let me put some Abduls here. Okay, those are Abdul. Let me change the color. Hold on. Uh, by the way, guys, if anyone want to take my print. And print it and sell it for in the market. I have copyright over it. Okay, don't don't do that. I know you can make a lot of money from my painting. I know it. Those are the Abdul. There is 1.4 billion Abdul. Like if you count the hair of a donkey, I think the hair of a donkey will be more than them. So let us say the hair of a rat. Those are Abdul around the world. All of them they are doing one job. They are praying on the Prophet Muhammad. If, 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 look how many look 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 big circle big circle like Zakir Naik here Zik, Akif, Zakir Naik this is Zakir Naik you know the, the reason I know this is Zakir Naik it's the line is so skinny and he's having like a growing uh, funny beard <laughs> mashallah alhamdulillah <laughs> unbelievable unbelievable religion this is the religion so we have Muhammad in the middle and we have Allah in the second line and the angels Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There is something I... Eesh. The Muslims now, they will torture me about forgetting this. Please, I seek your forgiveness. I seek 
your forgiveness. Forgiveness. The Guru Christian Prince asking for forgiveness. Listen, Abdul. Based on the Hadith and based on the Quran, the circle which Allah is exist there, and the angels, there is the black eyed Huri. I forgot them. I mean, how I do that? The sexy women you can see through their bones. You remember? How I forgot their names not to put it there. They are praying on the Muhammad too, and Muhammad have a lot of them for sex too. So let us add their names. Huri. The Huri. I wish I can be a prophet, man, even for one day. I mean, look at this guy. Look how lucky he is. He got I got everything. Falafel, hummus, huris, Muhammad. Allah, he promised Muhammad he will give him a river. It's called Al Kawthar. I mean, isn't it isn't it fair? I mean, I have a faucet, he have a river. This is not fair. In the heaven, I will have a faucet of wine and a faucet of milk and a faucet of uh, water. The prophet is going to have a river for himself alone. It's called Al Kawthar. And this river of Al Kawthar is going to be white like sperm. If, 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 if. Too much promises. Muslims, base in this drawing, who is God? Who is your God? Let us analyze the information. The first one in the circle, his name is Muhammad. What Muhammad mean? Any Muslim can tell me what Muhammad mean? Who is a Muslim want to tell me? Huh? Is it true that Muhammad name mean the praised one? So if Muhammad is the praised one, who is the praised two? Any Muhammad and have an answer. You Muslims, you keep saying to us, Muhammad is just a man. He is a servant of God. Servant of God. How he is the servant of God, but he is the praised one. Where is God? Muhammad is a name for God. This is not a name for a man. And this is why the verse they are saying that Allah and the angels and the believers and the wives of Muhammad and the girlfriends of Muhammad and every, everything in the earth have one job is to pray on Muhammad. Actually, to make it more clear, uh, guys, can I clean uh, my uh, can I clean my 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 drawing? I know because many of you like to take selfie with it. If you like to take selfie with it before I, I I wipe it out, take selfie, take selfie. I know because each time I make a drawing, people they take selfie with it and go crazy. I mean things, you know. I I even I saw it in the in many stations in the news. Take selfie. Especially if you are a Muslim, take a selfie with this. I mean, this is Quran. This is the analyzing of the Quran. <laughs> Unbelievable. What kind of religion this religion is? Everybody is a praying on Muhammad. Who is Muhammad? Allah does not have a job except Muhammad and praying on Muhammad. Yes, he don't have a job except that. Let me show you. Hold on. You guys do take a selfie. Hey, by the way, I don't accept anyone to take selfie of my drawing unless he have iPhone X. If you have Samsung Galaxy, like those things, I, no, don't do that. Okay, this is an insult to me. Okay, I am an Arab and we are very humble. I don't even friend people don't have iPhone six. Sorry, I have to tell you, I am the same as the Prophet Muhammad because we are humble. Allah gave me the kawsar in the heaven. <laughs> I mean, a kawsar. <laughs> How's kawsar doing, by the way? I mean, Muhammad is so humble, man. Everything in the heaven is for him. Rivers, ocean of um, ocean of musk. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let us continue. Let us continue. Uh, let me. You see, I, I want to clean the screen, but my heart is saying no. Let me contact the 
the museum first in Travalka Square in London. Hello? Uh, <clears throat> Travalka Square? Which square is this? Muhammad Square. Unbelievable. You will not believe it. Even my paint is about Muhammad Square. <laughs> so you are answering me from Muhammad Square? What is that? Uh, <clears throat> sorry, you are insulting now. Why you are using bad word, man? Don't tell me about your square there. I'm serious. I'm talking about... Okay, hang up, hang up. Bye-bye. So this is the square of Muhammad. Let us close this. Let us show you another square of the humble Muhammad who is not God, who is just a messenger of God. I feel like I want to cry, man. I mean, there's no way, there's no way you will not be convinced that Muhammad is a prophet. All right, let us see. I will show you the screen in a second. I'm, I want to grab uh, 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 Okay, here we go. Okay, this is the one I want to show you. Here we go. We showed you this before, but just to complete our topic. What is the purpose of Allah existence? Guys, is the text clear for you in YouTube? Can you read or no? Let me let me zoom in. I hate it that I am the only one who have a good vision here. Uh, do you know, guys, the secret of I have I, I'm having good vision? Okay, I will tell you, but please don't share it with anyone. I, and I hope the Muslim they will not record me now because I read a lot of Quran. The more I read Quran, the more my vision gets stronger. True, this is true news. I'm not lying. All right, I cannot zoom in here. Look, uh, look why we have to. Hmm. This website is not. Uh, let me change the browser. Hold on, hold on. You know, some website when you uh, uh, zoom with the text and you make the pages smaller, it uh, it, it change. Uh, let us see. Okay, let us use this one and see this one if that one will work. <clears throat> uh, no, it's not going to work. Look like it is a problem in their website. But anyway, that will do the job. Read with me. Question. This is sunnah.org. This is a very Islamic website. This is not a Christian website. All right? Sunnah.org. There's nothing in this website is a Christian, not even a single word. A Muslim Muhammad and Abdul ask him, what do they respect? Respected the ulama, which means uh, ulama is like scientists or scholars of the religion and sharia. Say about this hadith. Okay, what is the hadith? Lawlaka ma khalaqta al-aflaq. Lawlaka ma khalaqta al-aflaq. Okay. Which book is this hadith? Is it? Is the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the reason for the creation or not? So the question is about what? Is about what the hadith is saying. The hadith is saying, if not you, I created nothing. Allah is saying, if, yet, if not you, Muhammad, nothing is created. Now this is the answer and those are the scholars answering. Remember, this is an official Islamic website. The answer is, indeed, the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the reason for the creation of Adam. This is the reason. The reason for the creation of Adam is Muhammad. I need a drink. Hold on. That's too much. And I was wondering. Why Adam and Eve was created? Why Adam and Eve was created? And I was not able to find the answer. But finally, finally we found the reason for our existence. It is Muhammad. And not only that, my friend, I'm sure many of you is going to have tears, but not in your eyes, in your ears, because too much lies and your, your ears will sweat. And he's saying, is the reason for the creation of Adam. Oh, where does this thing go? Hold on. I don't know how the page flipped. Here we go. Okay. Alayhi salam and the universe. The whole universe is created because of Muhammad. Ish, 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 ish. 
guys do you see how important the existence of Muhammad do you know why Trump is a created Trump is a created for the sake of Muhammad the only because you're the whole universe and Trump is one of the things in the universe <laughs> I mean, this is amazing, man. But but yet the Muslim they say to us that Muhammad is just a servant of Allah and he is here to serve Allah. So, but Allah saying uh, Allah have I don't agree. Allah don't agree. Allah saying that everything I made is just for the sake of Muhammad. Read when you read. Allah, if the people, if the sorry, if the Prophet of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, do you remember we said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the one explained in circle? This is what this is what we explain in the circle. The Muslim they keep saying Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In the translation, they say to you, it means send the blessing on him. This is a lie. The word. But because it's very embarrassing, they changed and they fabricate the translation. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they cannot even say the name of Muhammad without adding this I mean, how come we Christians we believe that Jesus is God, but we don't say Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam You know what I mean? We are the Christian who worship Jesus, but yet we call him by his name Jesus We don't add titles and we don't add things in the front and things after and why Muhammad is a servant of God, the humble man, the Muslim, they have to add long sentences. Have you ever seen a Muhammad, Muhammadan, before he start his debate or conversation with the, anyone, he would say, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala sahabi Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala jilani Sayyidina Muhammad. He have to speak for 15 minutes praising and worshipping Muhammad before he start the conversation. Because Muhammad is God for the Abdul. Let us continue. It's saying if the Prophet of Allah was not in existence, okay, then yeah, Arsh and Kursi and Loh and Al Kalam and the sky and the earth, they will not be exist. Hold on, hold on. Do you know what does that mean? If not Muhammad is exist, Allah will. Allah will be standing up and turn down. Why Allah have a chair? Do you know what Arsh mean and Kursi, Muslim? Kursi and Arsh, Arsh mean a throne. Kursi mean a chair. Me, myself, right now, I'm sitting in a Kursi. Hmm? There's a chapter in the Quran, it's called the chapter of the Kursi, in case you do not know. The Muslim, they read it when a woman, she suffered from uh, having sex with a genie. There is a guy once he called the TV. He said, Assalamu alaikum. The Muslim Sheikh is, Walaikum Assalam, brother. What's the problem? He said, I have a, my wife. Well, I opened the door in her bedroom and I saw her doing things to herself in the bedroom. You know, you know, his wife, she is touching herself. So, what do you think, brother? The shaitan, you know, right away we playing the genie. So, the, the Sheikh, he said, brother. Brother, brother, obviously she is having sexual relationship with the genie. I advise you, brother, to play the chapter of the chair. And if you can read it from the end to the beginning, that even will be better. <laughs> I love it. When they say from the end in the beginning, are you saying we have to read the verse backward? Why? Why, why, why? Any Abdul have an idea? Obviously, the woman is horny and her husband is not doing his job. What the heck, what does this have to do with the genie? And the stupid Abdul, he opened the door, he see his wife touching herself, and he called a sheikh? No wonder she is horny alone. <laughs> I, guys, I saw my wife, she is doing this herself. Hello, assalamu alaikum, my wife in the bedroom, and she is doing something to herself, okay? So what I should do, brother? Uh, brother, you have to read the chapter of the chair. <laughs> um, uh, oh boy, I feel like converting to Islam. I mean, Islam brings solution for everything. If you have any problem, my friend, if you have any problem, the solution is in Islam. All right, we go back to our topic. 
So if not Muhammad, Allah will not create even the chair for himself. He will be sitting in the platform in the street. Or he will be standing in one leg. I mean, do you notice how serious this is? If not Muhammad, Allah himself have no share. Who is Muslim Muslims? Why Allah will not have a share if there is no Muhammad? Why? Any Muslim can tell us? Any Abdul? Hello? Hello, 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 Beirut, min fadlak ya ayni, taradadadam. Atini Beirut, dakhlak al khat shway. This is better than the Quran. Any song is better than the Quran. Any Abdul, he dare to call me right now. Hmm? If there's any Abdul, I mean, how you explain this stupidity here? He is just a prophet of God, supposedly. He is a servant of God. He is a humble man, as you claim. Uh, but yet, God have one reason to exist. Why Allah is exist? Based on this story in front of us, why Allah is exist? If not Muhammad, even Allah pen, Allah pen, pen, the pen, al-qalam. You see the qalam? It says Allah pen. Allah pen is not exist. If not Muhammad, Allah do not need a pen. So Allah became educated because of Muhammad. <laughs> if not Muhammad, Allah will not need a lawah. You know what lawah? This is one of the funny things about Islam. Muslims, they believe that their God, he have a book. But this book is not like pages. It's a board. Board, big board, big. And Allah, he put this board between the angel eyes. Anyone remember what the name of the angel? Who remember the name of this angel? Who, who remember him? By the way, if you are a Muslim and you are listening, huh? Please don't hesitate to call me. I will, I will treat you nicely. Trust me. We, we don't hate Muslims. We are here just to challenge Islam. We are not here. We don't hate you, my friend. If you are a Muslim, don't be shy. Call me. Maybe you can answer me. Maybe you can give me reasons we don't understand. Call. It's very easy. Just go on Skype, look for Debate TV, click call, and I will take you right away immediately. So if not Muhammad, Allah will not have a book, Allah will not have a pen, Allah will not have a board, and Allah will not have a chair, and there is no sky, there is no earth, there is no heaven, there is no hell. And look at this, not only this, there is no trees. I'm really upset from those scholars when they say that. And they stop here. If they added one word, I was going to convert to Islam. I have a weakness to tomatoes. I love tomatoes. If they say in the answer, if not the Prophet Muhammad, there is no tomato, I will convert to Islam. But <laughs> luckily me, they stop with the trees. <laughs> That's amazing. So the reason for the trees to be exist is Muhammad. Why? Israfil, Israfil, not Isfaril. Your name there, the name Isfaril in English, remind me of my English sometime. Anyway, so if not Muhammad, there is no trees. Why? Muhammad was a bird and he needed a tree to sit in the branch. What do you mean if Muhammad, there is no trees? If there is no Muhammad, there is no grass. Why? Muhammad was a goat. If no Muhammad, there is no stones. Even stones. Look, look guys, do you see the word stones? Muhammad, he used to wipe his ass with the three stones. Ah, now I know what the stones are made for. <laughs> Allah, he said to himself, I created this guy. And now he need to wipe his ass. So we need to create stones. Makes sense. I mean, obviously, it makes perfect sense. I was like thinking, like, why we have a lot of stones? I never thought about it this way. But, you know, you get older, you get more education, and you get smarter. And the more you read about Islam, my friend, you get so wise. Unbelievable. 
you know I remember when I got my degree in Islam I called my my my, my parents to tell them hey mom I finished and he, you know she gave the phone to my dad and he said you get a degree in farting I was so upset imagine a guy is studying to finish his degree in law and Islamic law and then when he finished they said to him you get a degree in farting my dad was so right I mean what this religion is about except farting and cleaning your vagina and using a penis and how to shake it and how to I mean this is what what you learn after studying for many years in Islamic school about Islam nothing nothing the prophet he used to shake his penis three times after he pissed well nice to meet you what this knowledge is going to add to anyone and look what it says here if not Muhammad all other creatures in the would not exist all the other creatures would not exist all this is too much ah <sighs> this is too much what do you think any Abdul who is a Muslim here is willing to give me a call right now and if you want we can change the topic just for your sake no worry don't worry be happy anyone now we have a Muslim he's there his name is Aziz Aziz what is that you are posting for us Aziz what is that what is that as you know the Muslims they are copy paste but if you ask them what is that they have no idea he do not know how to answer us about oh his Quran but all the Muslims became scholars in the Bible Aziz I invite you to call me do you dare do you dare Aziz Guys, do you think Aziz he can call me? Huh? For those who do not know, we have a guy in the chat. His name is Aziz. If there's anyone, his hand is up in uh, Paltok, guys. In Paltok, I, I cannot. I cannot see anything from my side. If there's anyone in Paltok want to speak? No one. All right, that's not that's fine. Do we have any Abdul? Who is a brave Abdul? He have the courage and the knowledge to tell us why Allah created the whole universe for the sake of Muhammad. Actually, you know, look what Aisha she said about this topic. We will not change the topic, but it's the same. Okay, let's do this here. It says As this is exactly the same thing we are saying this is Aisha Muhammad he made verses in the Quran as you know speaking about God he said to him that any Muslim women believer Muslim women she want to open her legs to the Prophet peace upon him so he can have fun with his penis between her legs excuse my language she is welcome to do so for those who they are in pal talk if you want to see what we are talking about uh, you better go and join us in YouTube so you can see in the screen but then you have to mute one chat so you don't have double voice so our YouTube here 
Muhammad he made chapters in the Quran about his balls and his about his penis and the chapters saying it clearly any Muslim woman she want to give herself to the Prophet so he can if her and this is a privilege only to Muhammad to if her not to marry her she is welcome Muhammad he put a sign in the front of his house any women she want me to if her please come over and then Aisha she noticed that Muhammad is nothing but a scam look what she said about this she said that she felt jealous felt jealous from what Muhammad is asking women to come and if him <laughs> obviously who the I felt jealous of women who offered themselves to Allah Messenger. Muslims, why Muhammad he needed women to offer themselves to him? He have a lot of wives already. Hello? I mean, is Muhammad like a single guy and he is a horny guy and he need help? His wives are all over. What it does it mean that Allah he asked the Muslim women to offer themselves to the Prophet? Any Muslim can answer? Don't guys don't block the Muslims as long as they are not using bad language, it's okay. Let them let them text. Aziz is a, you know, is a poor guy, let him. Yeah, hey, Aziz, welcome Aziz. Aziz is upset. What you can say? I mean, put yourself in his panty. He's a prophet is leaking. He's a prophet is horny. He's a prophet making chapters about his balls and his testicles. What you can do? I mean, put, you, put yourself in his... Uh, imagine you have a nose like his, full of boogers. He take off one booger, then they come out. Even his prophet, he was scratching the boogers from the, mo from, from, from the walls of the Kaaba. I can show you the hadith. Okay, who's a Muslim who want to challenge me about that? That the Prophet of Allah used to scratch the boogers from the wall of the Kaaba. Boogers everywhere. Unbelievable. So Aisha, she was jealous about such a Prophet who asking women to offer themselves to him. I mean, guys, imagine somebody claiming to be a Prophet and then he says, hey, any women she want to have sex with me? But this guy he have a lot of wives, including children, women, children, wives, Aisha herself. Why you need more women? One vagina is not enough, two vagina is not enough, three vagina is not enough. You have 13 vagina plus all the slaves, women you have. Why you need more? 13 vagina in the house of Muhammad. And excuse my language for saying that because this is the truth. Muhammad is not marrying. Muhammad is having vagina. He don't consider women as a woman. He consider her a vagina. Muhammad he said the women she have ten vagina. The women is ten vagina, and they will not be covered until she go to the grave. And look what Aisha she said to Muhammad. Inni ara rabbuka yusari'u ila hawaka ya Muhammad. It seemed to me that your Lord has to satisfy your desire, Muhammad. <laughs> Aisha is not a fool. She knew that this guy is a scam. He have a God. Anytime he's horny, his God, he make a verse for him so he can have as much as he can of women. Any Abdul? Hmm? Any Abdul? How you can explain to us, Abdul, this? That Aisha, she said to Muhammad, 
that your God, he, he rushed right away for your sexual desire. Any Muslim? The one is talking there is Aisha. This is not any person. Aisha, she noticed that Muhammad, he is a scam. And he used God for the sake of his sexual desire. Any Abdul? Anyone? I'm really upset. I thought today we will get many Muslims who would like to, uh, uh, you know, call us and etc. You know, but look like there's no no solution. Muslims are scared. They are scared. They knew that they have a false prophet. And they cannot defend him. Any Abdul? Allah Apostle saw some boogers on the wall of the mosque. <laughs> No comment. Any Muslim have uh, something to say? We showed you already, Muhammad. Muslims are pissing inside the mosque. So what a big deal about the boogers? And he have no problem with it. Anyone? Who is a brave Abdul would like to call? The ones who are texting me in Skype, you do not need to text me, my friend. If you want, just call me. I don't text, I don't want to text. And don't tell me, are you interested to debate someone from here or there? Let him call me. I am always ready. When the last time I said to somebody, I don't want to debate you? You do not need to ask me, my friend. Just bring the person he want to debate me. There's no need to text me and say, are you willing to debate this guy? Everybody's welcome. Big, small, fat, skinny. It doesn't matter. Women. Men. And you have to be mature from the age of six and over because in Islam, Aisha, she was mature at the age of six. Why? Because in Saudi Arabia, it's very hot and they grow very fast. And by the way, this is true. I have a friend from Saudi Arabia. His daughter, she was six months old and she was a Britnet. And this is a true story. Yeah. I have witnesses. <laughs> What the name Ahmad mean? It's the same. Ahmad, Ahmad and Muhammad is the same. The difference is, Muhammad is the praised one. Uh, Ahmad is the one who you like. Uh, you are thankful for, uh, for like, you know, like when you are thankful to God. Like you know, when the Muslim he says, "I thank Allah," he said, "Ahmadullah." Have you ever heard a Muslim saying that? Ahmadullah. That's Ahmad. I thank Allah. You know, I'm thank I'm grateful to Allah. So Muhammad is the is he is the one people are grateful to. He's God, same as Muhammad. 
Muhammad means the praised one. Why people they praise him? Because they are grateful to him. Do we have any Abdul? I know. I thought today I'm going to receive a phone call from a Muslim and he will make most of you convert to Islam, but look like it's not happening. Who of you here is the first time in this uh, program with us? Who is first time here? Who is first time? Anyone his first time? All of you are second time? Unbelievable. Don't worry about pal talk, my friend. You see, Muslims, what you can say? Muslims, they spam and pal talk, they spam here. It doesn't matter. So what? Pfft. Let him make victory. He is victorious now. He is spamming. <laughs> I mean, those people are really stupid and dumb. Uh, brother, I, I, I did spam a chat room of the Christian. <laughs> <laughs> what a victory man Claudia you are first time here Claudia I have a bad news for you first time that's me you are you are going to be addicted guys do you think Claudia is going to be addicted she said that she is here first time I feel sorry for you <laughs> you're welcome do we have any Abdul? Any Abdul? Once in, in Pal Talk, a lady, she sent me a text, but using her the name of her husband, and she said, uh, CP, we are going to divorce because of you. I said, what? Who? What are you talking about, man? He said, I'm not the man, I'm his wife. <laughs> I said, and why you are going? Who are you? I don't know you. What, what do you mean you divorced because of me? She said, my husband, he come here, right? When he come from work, he don't leave until you close your room. He cannot, he don't talk to us. He don't sit with us. He eat, he eat even a sandwich. He don't even have a dinner with us. No more. Unbelievable. So I did ban the guy from my room. I told him, you stay only in my room one hour maximum, and then I will bounce you. Yeah. Anyway. Any Abdul? I have, by the way, uh, 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 every month we give out, we give a special prize, you know. Uh, it's an airline ticket for those who attend our show. Um, and our ticket is the, to the most beautiful place in Earth. It's one-way ticket to Afghanistan. So if you are interested, please don't forget to sign for it. You will be really an amazing, lucky person. This is your opportunity. One way ticket to Afghanistan. You can imagine the beauty, the peace. Your rights there. I mean, the human rights there is amazing. Take take a camera with you. Don't forget. <laughs> oh boy. <coughs> um, but you said Muhammad. Is not the same with Ahmed or Muhammadian. I'm not, I'm not sure what you mean. Ahmed is a name, is the root of it is coming from Muhammad. Both of them they have almost the same meaning. Uh, but Muhammad is the noun of it, the praised one. Uh, Ahmed, usually it's coming as uh, usually it's not it should not be a name actually. It's like you you say. I am grateful okay so Muslims Muhammad he called himself Ahmad for he believe that he is the praised one and he is the one which people are grateful for or grateful for all right so both of them they are coming from the same name but there is a little different <clears throat> Yeah, and actually, I'm I'm thinking to make a scholarship for any of you, if you guys you uh, keep attending here, and we will send you to Arabian school 
in uh, Afghanistan to teach you how to fly. But by the way, there we don't teach you how to do landing. Just to let you know, you know only how to fly, no landing. I mean, why you need to do landing anyway? A Muslim, when he fly, especially if he's after he joined Taliban or ISIS, he want to hit the trade center. <laughs> Any Abdul? Name not Muhammadian. I don't understand. You call me if you have a question. Any Abdul? Are we out of Abdul today? That's it. Somebody, somebody mentioned the text the word donkey. I mean, I don't, don't, don't go there. Don't you know what Muhammad said about donkeys? Okay, let me show you. Hold on. Muhammad is a truly a true prophet. Look at what, look what he said. And by the way, this is scientifically proven to be true. Look at this. Look at this, guys. I mean, amazing. This hadith narrated by Abu Huraira, bra, 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 it says that the Prophet said, okay, actually, this is not the whole hadith. Let me find the whole hadith. Hold on. Where is the whole hadith? This website is funny. Sometimes you cannot find what you are looking for. Anyway, Muhammad he is saying here that aren't you afraid that if you raise your head before the Imam he finishes his prayer, Allah he will make his face the face of a donkey. So what Muhammad is claiming here that if a person who raise his head before the Imam finish the prayer, you see, there's a the Muslims they have a guy who is in the front. This is they call him the Imam, the leader of the prayer. So if you raise your head when you bend over and your ass like is up, you know. So if you raise if you raise your head before him, then you are in trouble. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hello, Hello. I hear Hello, you. Can my you hear uh, yeah. Actually, CP, I just wanted to ask a question. Sure, what is the uh, question? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, if I'm not, uh, I'm just confirming. Uh, in the Quran, it is said that uh, before crucifying Jesus, uh, Jews did say that we killed Jesus, uh, Masa, Masa, the son of Mary, right? Yes. Something like this. I'm not sure. Yes. Okay. So I want to ask uh, this question to Muslim. Uh, as as uh, as we all know uh, how. How respectful uh, Jews are regarding to their Messiah. Even today, we can see that Jews are waiting for their Messiah. So, why would Jew, uh, Jews would even uh, think about killing their Messiah? So, this is a uh, very, very important question for both Christians and Muslims, and and also including Jews. All right. Well, this is a good question. The the, the question for those who did not understand. Uh, he is asking why the Jews they want to kill the Messiah. Any uh, Muslim have an answer? No, no, uh, no, no, my, no. Okay, so actually, again. I wanted to, uh, I want to ask you uh, in Quran, it is said that Jews, uh, Jews said that we killed Jesus the Messiah. Yes, I want to ask, as we all know, that uh, Jews are uh, very serious regarding this matter, I mean, uh, regarding the Messiah, right? Uh, so why would they even want to kill the Messiah? You know, they will uh, actually they will praise the Messiah, not kill them, right? But in Quran, it is said that uh, Jews kill Messiah. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Even if today you ask any Jews that uh, what will you do if today uh, Messiah comes, then most of them will agree that they will bow down and respect and all that. But no one would even uh, think about killing him. But in Quran, it is said that Jews kill Messiah. It doesn't make any sense. 
Okay, anyone can, can uh, I'm trying to understand, you see, your accent is heavy for me. Uh, guys, yeah. anyone understand clearly what he was saying? Uh, for me, I understand you are saying, why the, why the Muslims, they say the Jews, they want to kill the, the, the Messiah? Mm, yeah, right. Why the Jews, they want to kill the Messiah? Mm. Okay. Well, you know, uh, the Muhammad, he claimed that the Jews, they killed many messengers. All right? Mm -hmm. uh, as we see here in front of us in chapter 2, verse number 87, Muhammad, he said, that a group of those uh, messengers you accuse of lying and the other group you slay them and here we have a bigger question i challenge the muslims to name for us one messenger the jews they killed if jesus was saved according to the quran mm -hmm. who are they the jewish messengers was killed by the jews <coughs> Any Muslims can tell us? If there is any Muslim here would like to tell us. This is your Quran saying that the Jews, they accuse many messengers of lying. I want you to tell me the names of those messengers who they accuse them of lying. And who is the messenger? At least here it says, by the way, Fariqan. Fariqan means more than three. Three and more. They have to be. It's, it's a group. So, and others, this is why the translation says others. And other use others you slay. So who are they, those others prophets who they are being slain by the Jews? And who are they, the prophets who are accused to be liars by the Jews? Any Muslim can give us an answer. We will wait for that. Do you have anything else, my friend? Yeah, I also wanted to ask you, do you watch uh, Speaker's Corner on YouTube channel? Actually, there was a, a guy named... I think uh, ask that question again. Mansur, I, I, I can't understand. Say again. Do you have what? Uh, I I asking that. Do you watch Speakers Corner on YouTube? I mean, uh, there is lots of debate going on. Oh, you mean Speakers Corner? Corner? No, I don't like it really no, because no, uh, because uh, you know there there's no there's no reference. People they just shout. I mean, it's not it's a waste of time for me. Uh, uh, you know, for for us we do a live uh, like real debate here. I show the reference. Mm -hmm. Muslim can read it right away. There's no need for shouting it there. It's about who is his voice is louder. That's all. There's no real debate. No, I, actually, I wanted to ask you this because uh, there was some uh, Muslim guy. And I don't remember his name exactly, but uh, he said on his YouTube that uh, this Christian prince guy is lying. He doesn't know Arabic. He's just, uh, you know, memorizing the verse and all. Ah, I memorized the verse. <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, he can. Why, why he don't call me? Why he don't? Why you don't ask him then? Okay, call him no, and ask him and give him a, and post for him a sentence to read it for you, not a, something he memorized. Make, no, make one. He can make one for me in the screen and he can show it to me. He can post it in the text and I'll read it right away. I mean, this is the no, most I stupid. Thought, no, I thought you, you would have known about this video uh, because it was yeah. quite famous. I think there was uh, 15 to 20,000 20, views on that video. I, I don't know which one. If you I find, if you, if you find it, you can, you can send it to me so we can laugh. Yeah, sure. I'll, oh, I will say it. All right. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Anything yeah. else? No, no. All sure. right. Take care. God bless. Yeah. God bless. You, you know, if, if a Muslim, he says a Christian prince is not lying, it's mean this, there is something wrong here. A Muslim, he have a duty. I mean, how he can escape the stupidity of Islam? He will, he will call me liar. What you would do? But can they debate me? Can Okay, call, here we go. I am life. I am life on air. Who want to call me? I don't speak Arabic. Let us see. I am the one who doesn't speak Arabic. I grew up in the Middle East. I am born in the Middle East. I am an Arab and I don't speak Arabic. So who is the one who speak Arabic? Zakana? But the sitter. The sitter didn't ask a question. Why the Prophet he used to take his penis three times? As you know, I am a doctor. And it's proven by science that if a male person he take his male member four times, it might be break. Especially if it's made in Arabia, thank you very much. And this is, by the way, approved by the scientist from the pan. His name, Yama Idulai Yama. Thank you.
didn't complain about Zakir Naik Arabic and now me. I mean, what is my language then? German? You see, if you guys, if you if you speak Arabic, you can go and watch my debate with the highest mullah or in USA for the Shia. You remember the debate? Go and see how broken his Arabic is and how perfect my Arabic is. Go and watch it. If you speak Arabic. I was speaking the classical Arabic perfect one and he was speaking the street language because he do not he cannot perform speaking the correct Arabic. Now do we have any Abdul? Even your God Allah don't know how to speak Arabic. What would be the word Arabic for God? Rab. No. L is not, you know, you see, this is not Arabic, my friend. Don't, don't mix things up. There is words which have nothing to do. Arabic, first of all, is not even a language. Arabic is a collection of languages. Let us do this. If you go in the Quran to try to find where is the Arabic, you will not find it. This is not Arabic. There's nothing called Arabic. Arabic is a collection of many languages. Some words coming from, but most of the words is coming from the Aramaic. Some coming from the Ethiopian. Some are coming from India. Uh, as an example, there's a lot of reference about uh, uh, the, the, the Sanskrit name of the Kaaba and the Sanskrit name of uh, Mecca, you know. And, you know, the, the, as an example, the word Hur, Hur, you know. This is not in Arabic. The word Qalam. The word Quran, the word Quran itself, the name of the Muslim book is not, is not Arabic. But let me show you. <clears throat> there's there's uh, endless numbers of words can be used for God. However, in Arabic, there's things you cannot do unless you are speaking about God or somebody is unique. As an example, if we add AL, in a front of a name that will make that name a title and any name of the names of the God of Islam you will notice that they start with the AL now AL is coming from the Aramaic language which is AL which mean God okay I'm using my mouse here, so forgive me for the bad writing. Al is a word meaning God. This is why in the Old Testament you will see too, uh, as an example, uh, there's some some names they appear, uh, like as, as an example in the New Hebrew, it says uh, Emmanuel, God is with us. What is the word God? Is Il. The word Il is this is the New Hebrew. The old Hebrew, the ancient Hebrew, it was Al. And Al is the same thing is used in the Aramaic. All right? So Al, it is any God. It is just a word. The pagan can use it. The Christian can use it. The Muslims can use it. It's just a generic word for God. All right? Now, the name of the God of Islam is Al Lah. So the real name of the God of Islam is not Allah, as many people think, because it's connected. It is Al-Lah. Al mean God. Lah is the real name of the God of Islam. This is why if we go to chapter 1, verse number 2 in the Quran, it says, Alhamdulillah, Rabbul Alam. Alhamdulillah. You remember we're talking about Muhammad, about Ahmad. Alhamd is coming from Ahmad. The grateful, you know, thankful, grateful. To God, so Alhamdulillah, li, Alhamdulillah. What is the li here before la? This is not a word meaning God. No. The letter here li is equal to. Let me change the color so you can uh, recognize what I'm talking about. Hold on. Here, this li, 
before la is equal to to in English. So thankful to la. This is the real name of the God of Islam. And this is in chapter 1, verse number 2 in the Quran. You will notice in chapter number 1, verse number 1, that the name appear there is Allah, which means A and L and La, this one. But in verse number 2, the one is appearing is this one. Li, La. You cannot take letters out of the names if it is a name. You can take them off because they are additional. You know what I mean? Do we agree? If a name, there's additional letters to it, you can take it off. But if it is part of the name, you cannot take it off. That's it. This is the name. If somebody, his name is uh, uh, George, you cannot take the G off. That's it. But if it is before him, there's the, you can take the that off. Hmm? It doesn't belong to the name. This is why here you will see that the L is disappear. Here, there's no L. It's not here in the front of this name. But this is the same name, the same God, supposedly. So why it's removed? Because simply it's not part of the name anyway. And if you go right now and search what lah mean, you will see that lah is the moon God. You see, the Muslim, they will say to you that the Quran says, don't worship the moon. Who said that the Muslims worship the moon? The moon God is the moon God, not the moon. There's a huge difference between worshipping the moon and worshipping the moon God. That is based on their ignorance. This is why you will see, if you remember the chapter was speaking about uh, the, 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 the chapter of An-Najm. Hmm? The chapter of An-Najm. Let us go there. Let's go first for the word Rab. <clears throat> you see here, it says, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Do you see the word Rab? Do you see the word Rab? Have you ever heard the word Rabbi? You know what the word Rabbi, right? What Rabbi mean? Rabbi is a master. The same word is God. Depend on what you meant. So, Rabbi, in Arabic is coming from the Aramaic word which is my my God Rabbi here you will see that here we go this is Lillah you see there's no Allah what happened where is that where is the letter in the front of it it's not here let me show you the two verses let us click here <clears throat> all right look with me the one in the top, it has this alif. In Arabic, we call it alif. This is letter A. This is equal to letter A. But this one here, let us zoom in more so you guys can get better view. I hope it's clear for you. Huh? Now here, we don't have this letter here. Here, you see this area here? It's not there. Why? What happened? Can we take it off? You know what I mean? It's gone. What happened to this letter? Where is it gone? If it is part of the name, we cannot take it off. But the reason it's taken off because it's not part of the name. It is something additional. So what is left here? Li la. Li li in Arabic mean two. So alhamdu. Grateful to La. So, what is the God name? La. I mean, I'm showing you your Quran in front of your eyes. I'm not adding things. All right. That is the true name of the God of Islam. As simple as that. <laughs> Yes, my friend. It's me. You know what? Hello. If you say to somebody, it's me, how I will know who are you?
Uh, yeah, yeah, I will do. It. I didn't uh, think about it. Yeah, I will do it. Actually, I got that uh, video uh, which I was talking about uh, that some Muslim guy was saying you do 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 Arabic and all. So I got that link. Uh, so you want me to paste it or something? Because in that video, um, that guy has uh, shown your uh, pic. I mean, means your original original pic. So in case if you don't uh, mind, then I will. Uh, how 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 even the Muslim they knew that this is my original pick anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you see the Muslims how funny they are. If Christian Prince is not going anywhere and he is not showing himself in the camera, so if the Muslims they knew how I look like, why I'm not showing myself anyway? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you can post whatever my, my you want, my friend. I don't care. But you know, okay. we don't we don't spread the propaganda of the Muslims, all right? We don't really care if the, if the video is hosted by Muslims. We don't want it. But uh, mm. you know, when a Muslim he says something like this that uh, a Christian prince is a liar, he have to prove it. Christian prince is on air almost every day, and the one who is brave, he should show up. Mm -hmm. You know, like why? Uh, why, as an example, I don't get the opportunity to call Shabir Ali in his show. I called the Dean show many times. No, they will not let me go through. Why? It's very easy to call me. Here we go. You call me. Did, did I? Did I add you? Did I ask you to call me? No. I mean, anyone can call me. I don't mm -hmm. know you. Anyone can call me live. Anyone can ask me questions. Any anyone can see the truth. But Muslims, because they are scared, they have to find an excuse. When somebody says this guy is lying, okay, call him and show everybody that he's a liar. Very simple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. That's all you have. <laughs> no, actually, you asked me to uh, give you the link, so I thought you might be interested in knowing uh, that. I don't, I don't. I don't really care for me, but I. I thought he's talking. Uh, you know, uh, if it's just two words about Christian Prince, who cares? I'm not. I, I'm not. I'm not really interested. Anyway, you can post whatever. Yeah. You wish. You can post whatever you wish. No problem. But you see. No, I said I don't want to post it because if it's your pick, then your life will be in danger. Oh my friend, how, how you know that this is my picture? Don't worry. No. Is that is, <laughs> is, that, is that guy in the picture good looking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's mean. That's yes, me. Yes. That's me, guys. If, if it is good looking, <laughs> because I like to look like good looking. So if it is, <laughs> I was afraid they would put like a, a picture of a monkey or something. I mean, that's that's good. At least they got the, they got a picture of a good looking guy. All right, maybe I will find someone finally to marry me after this picture is posted. If that's a, that's a, that's a relief. <laughs> well, thank you, my friend. Thank you. Take care. Uh, sorry for sorry to cut you no problem, from the topic. No problem. No problem. Take care. Uh -huh. Anyway, desperate Muslims. Abdul, Abdul, yeah, Abdul. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> now. Who is a Muslim here? Honestly, he have the courage and the knowledge to correct us in anything I said. Who want to do it? If there is any Muslim, he think he can do it. Who of you have a question you would like to call me? Not necessarily a Muslim. I mean, obviously, the Muslims are scared. Anyone? They don't have the courage. They knew that you know. You see, the Muslims, my friend, <clears throat> they will be all over you if they think they have a chance to survive the match. Here, there is no sur survival. Here, there's no. There's no. <laughs> you know how many how many Muslims they are fighting over to debate David Wood. The, the the reason is simple. The guy don't speak Arabic. He's not an Arab. His knowledge is limited about Islam, because whatever he learned is going to be from the uh, the translation. 
and all Islamic translation is fabricated. Let me show you an example. I will give you an example of, of the fabricated translation. All right, hold on. Let us go to the hadith. All the Quran translation is fake. I showed you hundreds of times, but let us show you an example here. Not only the fake translation, they delete verse, they delete the whole story almost is gone. Let me show you. Uh, Here we go. If you read this hadith here and you don't speak Arabic, anyone here can see or can locate for me the word my daughters. I will give you time to look. Can you find the word my daughters? Anyone can locate the word there? Anywhere in the in the hadith, Aisha she said. Muhammad he asked her about the dolls. She have dolls. He said to her, "What is this?" Anyone see there? It says she is saying those are my daughters. No, look with me in Arabic. Look, and let us read together. فهبت ريح فكشفت ناحية السطر عن بنات لعائشة لعب فقال ما هذا يا عائشة قالت بناتي <laughs> all of this is gone from this part here to this part here it's gone it's not in English nowhere it can be found why they took it off because Aisha she's saying here Muhammad he asked her what those those toys <laughs> Muhammad is like what is this? You know, she said, This is my daughter's. This is what it says, Banati. My daughters. The wife of the prophet, she had dolls and she called them her daughters. And the Muslims they knew how embarrassing that is. So, how we can get rid of this this story? We translate the hadith and we delete the whole part where she is saying those are my daughters now if there is any Muslim there there to say this is a lie it doesn't say so any Muslim now we speak now he dare to say you are lying it does not say that No one. So who is the liar? Why in the English translation it doesn't say the same as in Arabic? This is why my friend, they debate those who don't speak Arabic. And me, not only I speak Arabic, I mean, this is one of my advantage. I speak Arabic and speaking Arabic is the key to find the secrets of this cult. I spend my life studying. But if you are a person who don't speak Arabic, they knew that your knowledge is limited based on their translation. And the Muslim translation is, is meant to defend Islam, not to translate. You can go right now to any verse in the Quran, and I challenge any Muslim to show me one verse is a translated in accurate way. Just one. Not even one verse has a correct translation. Why? Actually, even Muslims don't accept the Islamic translation by themselves. Do you know why? The Islamic translation is meant to convert people, to fool people, not to translate. The story here is very embarrassing. A prophet of God, he have a wife, she is playing with dolls, he moved the curtain and he saw the dolls and he asked the wife who is a little baby child what is this she said to him my daughters <laughs> the 
This is why it is totally deleted. It cannot be found anywhere in the translation. Now, maybe some of you can help me if we can find different translation. Let me show you the hadith number. Hmm? So maybe some of you can go and look for it. And this is a Sahih hadith. You see? Sunan Abi Dawood, hadith number 4932. Do you see it? And this is the link. See if you can find in different uh, website the correct translation. Maybe we got lucky. But they don't. They don't think it's a mistake. It is in purpose. Muslims, they will not be mistaken playing games with the words of their prophet. This is God for them. But in order, it's halal, as long they are doing it in order to protect the Islam, the religion. Yeah, it says there in the front of our eyes, you see, Muslims, they are watching. Any Muslim who speak Arabic, he can. If a, a, I challenge you, if you are a big scholar or a small scholar, I don't care. This is what it says. She have daughters for her. All right. It says here clearly, and banatin li Aisha lu'abin. They are daughters to Aisha and they are dolls. Not only they are, you see in the translation here it says dolls. It doesn't say that. It says doll daughters to Aisha. When the curtain moved, they saw in it, behind the curtain daughters as dolls belong to Aisha. This part is gone too. It's not there. And then when he asked her, what is that? She said again, the word my daughters appear again. She said, when he said to her, what is this? She replied, look what they did here. My dolls. It doesn't say that. It says my daughters. The wife of the prophet consider her dolls, her daughters. Can you tell how young she is? Can't you? Imagine you have a wife, huh? and you enter the bedroom, and your wife is playing with playing with dolls, and you ask her, "What? Oh, what is this?" You say, "My daughters." Your wife either you. Do we have any brave Abdul? Anyone? It is complete seven versions of the Quran, supposedly. Seven Ahraf, what when we say seven Ahraf, we are talking about seven books. All right. This is why Muhammad, he was copying, uh, asking the angel, supposedly, and asking Allah, uh, to send the Quran in seven uh, in seven books which is presenting seven recitation now you know remember you know Muhammad was living in Quraysh and uh, Quraysh tribe is so small it's so tiny I mean why you need seven what seven dialect and okay when Muhammad he said if the Muslim they are saying this is a seven dialect let us go for the sake of argument say okay it's a seven dialect so the people they will not understand the Quran, and those are Arab, pure Arab. They will not understand the Quran if it came in the language of Quraysh or the dialect of Quraysh. If we go and see the recitation, we will find the words are different. It's not the same. Even verses sometimes are missing. However, look what the hadith says. Jibreel came to Muhammad and said to him, Allah has commanded you to recite to your people the Quran in one dialect. This is a translation. It doesn't say that. It says in one harf. One harf would mean one recitation. There is a different recitation. The reason Muhammad, he came with this, because Muhammad, he cannot repeat the same verse twice correctly. So he have to cover his ass 
why yesterday you said something especially I'm talking about a book you see if I tell you what happened with me yesterday I, I can say it in different way and it doesn't hurt but when I am saying that God gave me word by word something and then second day I give you the story again but the words are changing you know what I mean it's many online because Muhammad is claiming that every word there is coming from Allah as he gave it so now how we can explain that what he said yesterday in the front of this group about this this thing or this verse is not the same he said the second day about different group about the same verse so he have to say oh you know what uh, Allah he gave me the Quran in seven letters so now he Muhammad is explained why uh, guys don't jump from topic to topic let's finish one from terror to Quran to Ahraf one by one upon this said I ask from Allah burden and forgiveness my people are not capable of doing it okay hold on don't the Muslims they say to us we have one Quran now don't they say that this is what we hear always from Muslims we have one Quran Muhammad he said if we if you have one Quran you are incapable of understanding Islam <laughs> Muhammad saying that not me it is Muhammad who's saying that it's in the front of your eyes and this is the Muslim translation so what is the reason Muhammad is asking for? because one Quran is not enough his people are stupid and they are dumb and they will not understand the Quran if it is coming in one version so we need more then Jibreel he came with a second delivery he gave him second Quran and he told him Allah commanded you now to deliver the Quran in two dialect okay Muhammad still isn't happy he said well hello 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 we cannot do it this way man I mean what kind of God what kind of prophet we are talking about is that a bazaar it's like a bazaar in the Middle East you go there you tell them what is the price of the shirt they say it to you fifty dollars after two minutes talking to them is going to be 25 three minutes more it is ten dollars discuss us for more more discount is going to be one dollar this is God if God told have you ever heard of a Musa saying to God why you gave me only the Ten Commandments give me more man who are you you are just a prophet a prophet is asking God correcting God Allah he think that he is or he it is enough to send the Quran in one dialect as the Muslims they claim Muhammad you don't agree Muhammad is correcting Allah. My people are, are stupid. What I can do? Have you ever seen a smart Muslim? This is what Muhammad is saying to his God. Hey God, you are mistaken. You think those are Christians? Those are Muslims. Muhammadan. They are so dumb. You need to send me more Quran. But the whole idea is Muhammad, he cannot recite the same verse twice. This is why if you go in the Quran, you will see Muhammad trying to do his best more to cover his ass because people they like laugh at him so he says that Allah he caused him to forget the Quran all right Allah caused him to forget the Quran chapter I mean I don't know look look guys look what I'm getting in the screen as advertising look at this look at this I mean how this coming to my screen now Bra, ah, they knew I'm talking about Islam. Look at this advertising. Do you see it? Unbelievable. They heard smart companies, they are spying. The second you are talking about Muhammad, here we go. We have a bra. But Muhammad, his wife, don't wear even underwear. What are you talking about? They're wasting your advertising for nothing. So let me close this stupid thing. I know how to close it. I know this browser does not have this before. This is new. Chapter 2, verse 106. 
Okay. وما ننسخ من آية أو ننسها نأتي بخير منها أو مثلها. Any verses we cause to be forgotten. <clears throat> How that can happen? Allah is causing the Quran to be forgotten. Any Abdul? You know, I'm sick of this browser. I'm I'm going to delete it, and I think uh, I was browsing somewhere, and they added something in the in the you know you, you know those. Uh, You see, it keep coming, those advertising in my face here, look. I close it, I come again. This is new. I will delete the app and download it again. So Allah will cause Muhammad to forget the Quran. And that is to explain why Muhammad, he cannot recite the same verse twice correctly. But doesn't make sense that God, he make verses and he send it to you as a messenger and then he cause you to forget the Quran. Any Muslim don't agree? What is the purpose of sending a verse to a prophet and then cause the prophet to forget the Quran? You Muslim, you say to us that the Quran is preserved. How the Quran is preserved and you Muslims memorize the Quran as you claim. Yet your prophet himself, he forgot the Quran and Allah is the one causing him to forget the Quran. Actually, in the hadith, Muhammad, in one of the hadith, he says that once he heard uh, uh, a Muslim reciting the Quran, and then Muhammad, he said, oh, you just remind me of verses I totally forgot. Totally forgot how this happened. How he is a prophet, he is admitting that I forgot the Quran and you just reminded me of it. You see it? I was caused to forget or to forget. <laughs> Muslims, who is the one who caused Muhammad to forget the Quran? Any Muslim can tell us? This is your prophet saying that such and such verses and such and such surahs, I was caused to be forgotten or to forget. How this happened? The prophet of Islam, the Quran author, the Quran provider, the Quran vendor, he himself do not remember the Quran, he said. And you Muslims, you memorize the Quran, but your prophet do not, do not memorize the Quran. Would that make sense to you? Do we have any hand up in Palto? Because I'm using the the, Mac, the Macintosh version of it, it doesn't show anything. Any Abdul? Imagine you are married, and then your wife she she got you busted walking with different women, and you say to her, "Oh, praise be to Allah, the one who made me forget that I'm married to you." What? Huh? What? What? The prophet he forgot. This is more important than his wives. This is Quran. There's hands up. Okay, no hands. And you know, we Muslims, we don't forget Quran. Your prophet forgot the Quran in front of you. And this is Sahih al Bukhari. Sahih al Bukhari. 
don't forget uh, if you are first time subscriber here uh, to subscribe I mean to uh, if you are watching us first time don't forget to subscribe because at the end of the month we have a delivery from Allah we will deliver versions and the versions they are still wearing the panties which Allah he gave to them in heaven they have zero mileage there trust me they are versions now if you are by mistake delivered some refurbished one uh, just let it go any Abdul anyone Yeah, you know, like, like, you know, the Muslims, when they speak about women, by the way, nobody speak about dignity and honor as much as the Muslims. But guys, if you go in the Middle East, you will not believe it. You will not believe it. Sex everywhere. I mean, a very corrupt society. Nobody speak about God as they do. Nobody speak about dignity as they do. They're European, they are filthy, eh? American, you know, they have a boyfriend discuss go and see go and see you will not believe it That is the truth and the truth hurt Any Abdul Who is a Muslim Abdul would like to call me? Who is a Muslim brave Abdul? He want to show us Muhammad in the Bible. Okay, forget about the Quran. Show us Muhammad in the Bible. Who is a Muhammad and <coughs> want to show us Muhammad in the Bible? I found Muhammad in the Bible and even I showed you his picture and he was very handsome you know? I mean I could not believe that I can find a picture for him after all those years he's still young handsome looked like he was smoking hashish Muhammad founded the Bible huh? must be true that must be true I mean, who can argue about that? So they could not find Muhammad in their book. They tried to find him in our book. Hmm? Hello? I'm so upset that you can find, if you are not me, you can find tons of Muslims to debate you. If you are not me. And the poor me, I stand here for hours, keep saying any Abdul. How many times I said any Abdul tonight? Until now, zero call. Not even one Abdul is willing to call us. I remind you guys I will be away starting from the coming week all right uh, I will be away for a few weeks so don't worry about me say Christian friends don't doing uh, life uh, you know the Muslims are people of fake news well, you know once when I was serving in the army in the USA army I came back in the same day I opened pal talk imagine I found a room it's called celebrating the death of a Christian prince and the Muslims they claim that the Mujahideen they kill me Allahu Akbar it was funny that the same day I came back, they were celebrating. <laughs> I went to Palto co admin, you know, they have like, like employees, co admins. And I told him, uh, there's a room open with my name. It says, Celebrate the death of Christian Prince. Please close it. So the smart, the smart genius admin in Palto, he said to me, So are you saying you are alive? <laughs> I mean, this guy must be Mohammedan. I mean, super intelligence. I said, Hello. Are you saying 
So are you saying to me you're alive? <laughs> I mean, that's something. Uh, I feel sorry for him if he's married. Imagine you have a husband like that. I said, I don't know. You think, what do you think? <laughs> are you saying you're alive? Yeah, there are people of fake news, so don't uh, they might say you know you die, etc. You know, you know them. <coughs> yeah. Any Abdul? <coughs> where I'm going? I'm going to visit almost three countries. I can't tell you where exactly. Sorry, uh, but uh, it's a long trip. And I will I will do my best to uh, post uh, videos when I am there. However, I have videos already; they are ready to go. You know, so you will receive videos from me when I am there. But I will try even to do. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. I don't know. Uh, live broadcast depend on the internet speed. We will see. All right. You want to visit me? I will be renting in hotels, spending a lot of money. Poor me. You know, one of you asked me last time, he said, when you went to this uh, seminar, you must enjoy a good food there. The fact, and I don't know if the ones who they are, they invited me, uh, they are listening. I did not even allow them to buy me food. I went to McDonald's. I did not even drink the water in the hotel it's a marriott hotel and, the, and it's there's a there's like a little paper in it it says five dollars four dollars ninety something imagine for every bottle of water it's five dollars so i did not even touch that because i don't want the church because they, i'm invited and their guest and whatever i order is going to be on them i did not even touch the water in the room i went downstairs I went to McDonald's, I bought some water, and that's it. I'm not that kind, my friend. I'm not there for a fancy trip. And actually, I told them, that you do not need that, because when they told me it's in a Marriott hotel, I told them, I don't know why you are reserving for me. I said, we are not reserving for you, really. It's our occasion is there. So we have a big reservation for everybody there. And... Uh, the room will be there if you are there or not. No. So I am not interested. And you know, actually, I don't enjoy those fancy restaurants. They put for you a little tiny piece of food and suppose this is a dish, you know? I remember once I ate in one of those restaurants and I told the, the girl, I said, where is the food? Is that the cookies or what, what is it? What, this is like the taste of food? Are you serving your food in the ashtray? <laughs> I mean, this is not a food, you know. I I will go bankrupt because before I feel I like I, I I get full. So go to McDonald's. It's for like six, eight dollars, ten dollars maximum. You can be full. Who need those restaurants? And I don't like really restaurants. I like to eat and cook at home. But if I am in trip, it doesn't matter. McDonald's is fine. Whatever the Lord He provides us is a blessing. Right? Anyway, do we have any Abdul? You do not need more people like me. That would be a disaster. Trust me. Now, guys, don't stop talking about me. Get me Abdul. You want to do me a favor? Get me Abdul. Look at this now. We are out of Abdul. What we will do now? We go flat tire. We change the tires of the car again. Every 15 minutes, we stop our car in the side of the highway in the way over, to our way to Mecca. And the excuse is, maybe Abdul will stop by and help us to fix the car and we talk to him about Islam. It's not working. So we need to find a different strategy. We need a version. Who is a volunteer version? Is willing to take the microphone if the Muslims they hear only a virgin speaking in the microphone a beautiful girl uh, especially if she's blonde if if 
you will see the ring of the phone will not stop. Hmm. We have a Muslim here. Oh, we have a guy, his name is Karim in Pal Talk. You want to debate me? Karim, put your hand up. I will give you the mic right away. Do you hear me, Mr. Karim? <clears throat> Guys, is Karim hand in pal talk is uh, is up? You are scared. So what I will do now? <laughs> Take a medication. <laughs> Karim is a Muslim. You want to debate me, but he's scared. What I should do? I don't know what I can do. Anyone? No, maybe he's joking. Maybe he's brave, but he's just joking, saying he's scared. I don't think he's scared. Uh, take the mic, Karim. Let me give him the mic and Palto. Let us see if he will take the mic. <coughs> I'll release the mic in in Palto. Maybe he will take it. Let us see. He is not even moving. He's playing dead now. So what happened, Karim? You will not talk? Hmm. All right. Uh, <clears throat> now, today is what? Today is a Friday. Okay. Yeah, we have a few days to go. I still, I'm not here. I mean, I'm just reminding you from now, so nobody will be... Uh, and... Uh, you will receive a video for me every Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. And uh, I will try to get you a video every Monday, too. Um, but a Wednesday, for sure, you will receive it every 4.30. <clears throat> like you will have at least maybe two videos or three videos a week. Do we have a Muslim in YouTube? Yeah, I will not let you without uh, videos. And the videos we uh, I will make, they are, you know, we important and they are, uh, uh, they will be short. M many of you like the short videos. And you know the funny, when I make a short video, people, they say, why you don't make long video? This is too short. When I make it long, people, they say, this is too long. It's hard to make a human being happy. And Abdul, wanna call me? Any Abdul? So my my advice for people here, if you know any Muslim, he would like to debate us, please feel free. Tell him, there's a guy, his name is a Christian prince, and he keeps saying, who want to debate me? And nobody debating him. So ask them, challenging them, and let us see if they are. And, you know, uh, open topic here. We, don't, uh, we do not need to organize for it and prepare for a topic. You, you ask me whatever you wish. I ask you whatever I wish. Easy. People who know their God, they do not need to prepare for anything. Only fake scholars or fake believers, they need to prepare for a year or two months or three months. Why? Because they go and print like 100 pages from the internet about a topic, and then there's no debate. He throw questions at me, I throw questions at him, and both of us, we are copying from the internet questions. It's not even made by us. No need for preparing for a topic. Call me. Can you call talk about destiny in Islam? Yeah, we can talk about destiny. <clears throat> destiny in Islam is very stupid. You see, we as a Christians, we have 
a kind different uh, uh, a kind of form of destiny which mean you know like if God had chose me to be a prophet that is a cho a choice still which mean God did not make Moses as a prophet and force him to be a prophet you know what I mean if Moses he don't want to he, he would not obey God correct we have the freedom to disobey God I can disobey God right now I can disobey God 100 times a day 1 million times a day Muslims believe in different story <laughs> destiny for us as a Christians can be in the following that we are born to die that is destiny that is not a choice do we agree this is can be a destiny but not the same as the Muslim destiny Destiny in Islam is totally different. I am born, but I did not choose to die. I wish I can stay alive forever, but I cannot, you know. Now, <clears throat> Muhammad, he have different idea what destiny is. And I will show you the example. It was a funeral of a child who is an infant. It is. Muhammad and Aisha, they attend the funeral of a Muslim baby infant who died. And this infant baby, he did not reach the age of committing sin. He is a baby, you know. And look what the story in front of us saying. Aisha, the mother of the believers, said that Allah, the messenger of etc., was called to lead a, a funeral prayer. So this is a funeral prayer for a child who died. And then, Aisha, she said, Allah Messenger, there is a happiness for this child who is a bird from the birds of paradise, for it commit no sin. So why Aisha, she think this child will go to heaven? Eh, he did not reach the age, you know, he's a child, baby. Nor he has even reached the age when one can commit sin. Muhammad disagree. He said, O oh, Aisha, per adventure, it may be the otherwise, which means he might go to hell. But how he will go to hell? He is a child of a Muslim family, believers. He did not commit sin. He never reached the age of committing sin. So how he will go to hell? That is destiny in Islam. Muhammad he explained how he said because God created for paradise those who they are fit for it while they were in the their father backbones Muhammad he believed that we are born or the sperm of the man is coming from the backbone so when is the decision is made for you to go to heaven or to hell it's not about sin you do it's not about People you kill or rape, so you go to hell? No. Before Allah, He created you, He decided for you where you will go. And Abdul, that is the destiny of Islam. So we don't believe in such a destiny. Uh, uh, we as a Christian, if we believe in destiny, is going to be different. It's going to be like, you know, Everybody will die. Okay. People, they, you know, uh, they suffer. That is the destiny. God is a, a, he punish us. We are out of heaven for a reason. And to be out of heaven mean, you need to sleep, you need to eat, you need to take medication, your teeth hurt, your heart, your blood pressure, you have your suffering, you have to work, you have to feed your children, you have, you have, you have. But this is different destiny. The destiny we are talking about is about your action. 
Muhammad believe that it is Allah who control you <coughs> and you have no choice where you will go it doesn't matter if you commit sin or not for your destiny is made for you before you commit sin or you don't commit sin this is why if you remember we are uh, Adam and uh, who says they have a debate according to Muhammad and this debate Musa says he accused Adam that because of your sin we are out of heaven and Muhammad he report for us the debate and he said the following read with me carefully the Prophet said Adam and Moses argued with with each other Moses said to Adam oh Adam you are our father who disappointed us and turned us out of paradise then Adam said to him oh Moses Allah favored you with his talk and which means talk to you directly and he wrote for you the Torah in your hand in his hand do you blame me for action which Allah has written in my fate 40 years before my creation and look what Muhammad here continues saying which is very important so Adam refuted Musa so Adam was right Musa was wrong Muhammad is taking the side of the statement of Adam and what is the statement of Adam you can't blame me for the sin I did this is my fate it's written for me 40 years before my creation and here we need to ask ourselves how stupid this religion is if Muhammad agreeing that Adam his sin written by Allah is it's it's, it's 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 not Adam saying this is the sin of Allah it is Allah who decide for Adam to commit sin then how in the world do you punish him for his sin if this is not a choice you know what I mean someone his hand is up in pal talk okay let's see I hope you guys because last time uh, we gave the mic to somebody in pal talk you could not hear him I'm not sure why let us see let's give it a try Take the mic, the person in Pat Talk. Hi, thank you. Let me just say, um, it was very interesting what you said. I was for a while suspecting that Do you hear guys? Muslims believe in predestination. Do you hear her? And that they're, um, they don't really have the freedom of choice, uh, free will, as I believe in free will. But I wanted um, to ask you something about what you said. You said that um, the child in Christianity, there's an age that um, uh, Muhammad said that he can still go to hell even though he's a child. Um, but just to confirm, because I'm not a Christian, just to confirm, Christians don't believe that um, if you're not a Baptist or if you don't believe in Jesus on whatever age, you're not going to also go to hell. Um, are, are you confirming that Christians don't believe that does, in other words, there's actually in certain age that you're liable for your sin, even though you don't believe in Jesus, you're not going to go to hell. I'm just trying to confirm that um, you're telling me that Christianity teaches different because I have heard um, Christian tell me if you don't believe in Jesus, regardless, uh, you're you're going to go to hell. So that's my question for you, to you, and thank you very much. All right, my friend. Thank you for the. Oh, we have somebody took the mic. Am I heard, guys? All right. Well, you know, I think maybe you misunderstood me. First of all, in Christianity, we don't believe in such a destiny. However, I believe it strongly that the Bible is so clear that the children who never commit sin, they go to heaven. Uh, if you go to Matthew chapter 18, verse number 3, it says, that if you don't 
become like those children, you will not go to heaven. So, why they will go to heaven? Those children do not know Jesus yet. They don't understand even what who is Jesus mean. Right? They're being just little children. And here we are not talking about babies. We are talking about children who they can walk in their feet. You know, they are, uh, uh, you know, not uh, children who do not know even how to talk. So if the one who do not know, uh, he just learn how to talk or he walk, he will go to heaven. What about the infant? God is about justice, right? So it is not justice to send somebody to hell for something he do not even know what it is. As an example, what if somebody is crazy? He is not a child. You know, when we say crazy, it means he have no ability to understand things. God is about justice. He would not judge him the same he judge you and judge me. If we believe in God to be absolute just, then justice means you pay for your crime. And if you do not know even what a crime means, how you will pay for it? All right? So this is not what we believe as a Christians. The, I was talking about the Muslims. The Muslims, we are talking about a child. I was showing in the screen. I don't know if you can, if you see us in YouTube. You can go, let me post for you the link there in Palto. So you can watch us in the screen. Yeah. So this is the this is the belief of the Muhammadan. The Muhammadan believe in this. We don't believe in this. This is this is madness. Why a child he will go to, to hell? I mean, well, that doesn't make sense. What for what he did? What is justice? This God he wrote the destiny of this child before he is born to go to hell. I mean, what kind of God this God is? <laughs> Barbecue God? He just like to burn people for no reason? Obviously, yes, this is what Allah is about. So the logic of destiny in Islam is very stupid. And destiny, by the way, is one of the major uh, 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 pillars of, 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 uh, of Islam to the point, if you don't believe in destiny, the way Muhammad is teaching it, you are not a Muslim. That's it. And as you see here, we spoke about Adam and Musa's debating about the sin of Adam. And who is the winner? Adam, why? Because he said, my sin is not my sin. It is Allah. He wrote my sin for me 40 years before he created me. Okay, then Muslims explain to us what the purpose of kicking Adam from heaven then. The Muslim, they will say to you, oh, Allah did not really kick him out from heaven. It was his destiny to live in earth. <laughs> you know, it's a, but because Islam is a, is a stupid religion, it's a collection of religions. Some from the Jews, some from the Christians, some from the Hindus, some from the Buddhas, some from the Sabi, and some from everybody. Islam is like 20 some. It, it, you know, it's like a sexual party. Everything, if you put it together, is the most confusing picture because they don't match. The image of Islam is not it does not match. It's 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 a it's a collection of many things. It's like, you know, when you, uh, do you know those uh, puzzles, you, the, the pictures, you buy them? You, you know what guys are talking about? Like a picture, you want to put it together? Huh? Islam is puzzles, but from many pictures, and they don't match. So it doesn't matter how much you try to put it together, it doesn't work. As an example. We mentioned in the beginning, for those who were with us from the beginning or like an hours ago, uh, that the whole universe is was created for the sake of Muhammad. And Adam, Adam himself, when he commits sin, he asks Allah for forgiveness. He asks Allah for forgiveness. Anyone knows. Why Allah forgive Adam? Who knows? فتلقى آدم من ربه كلمات فتاب عليه إنه هو التواب الرحيم. Chapter two, verse number thirty-seven. Okay. Uh, 
Adam, he received words from Allah and he forgave him. He forgave him. I mean, look how stupid the story is. If Allah forgive him, what he kick him out from heaven? Doesn't make sense. Number two, why Allah he forgive him? If you go and read the story behind this verse, you will find out that Adam, after he commits sin, he said to Allah, Allah, please forgive me. Allah said, no. He said, Allah, please forgive me, man. No. Allah, please, come on, please, 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 please. No, no, don't try. Then Adam, he remembered that when Allah created him in a Friday afternoon, hmm, before the bus come, he lifted his eyes up and he saw in the throne of Allah the name of Muhammad. So Adam said, bingo, this guy must be like a close to Allah. So look what he said to Allah. He said, please forgive me for the sake of Muhammad. What? Please, please forgive me for the sake of Muhammad. Let me show you the hadith. Hold on. Here we go. This is the hadith in the front of your eyes. The Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Allah, when uh, when when uh, he said, when Adam he made mistake, which means sin, he asked Allah, I ask you for the sake of Muhammad to forgive me. What? <laughs> What what? I what? I ask you for the sake of Muhammad to forgive me. And then look what happened. Allah said, Oh Adam, what what? What Adam, what you said? What what what? How do you recognize Muhammad? Look, guys, Allah was astonished. Eesh. How Muhammad, how Adam he knew Muhammad? Look, look what he said to him. Allah said to Adam, How do you recognize Muhammad when I have not created him yet? Like Allah was going to go crazy, man. I mean, this Adam must be God too. He know about Muhammad, he's not, he's not created yet. Look what Adam he said to him. I wish Adam did not, I, I wish Adam did not answer because that will make Allah go crazy for the rest of his life. Uh, so how you recognize Muhammad when I have not created him yet? Adam said, Oh Allah, oh Allah, when you created me and blew into my spirit, I lifted my head and I saw written on the arch, which means the throne of Allah. There is no prophet but Al Muhammad, and there is no messenger, there is no God but Allah, and there is no messenger but Muhammad. <laughs> This is a religion. This is really a religion. Hey, answering. How are you, my friend? Call me, call me in Skype. We are in YouTube. Call me in Skype so everybody can hear you. You want to use Skype or you want to take it home here? All right. We have a brother answering Islam. He just joined the chat room there. I mean, what, what is that? That's madness. That's the most crazy, stupid religion. Adam was forget, forgiven. Why you need to forgive him if the sin we just showed you, the hadith says that Allah, he wrote the sin of Adam 40 years before his creation. I mean, why I want to ask for forgiveness? It's not my sin. It's Allah who wrote my sin for me before he created me. You see, uh, uh, based on this story here, what they what they claim based on this hadith here, that everything was exist for the sake of Muhammad. However, uh, some Muslims, they say that the first thing Allah created, it was his light. And Muhammad is from the light of Allah. And that will take us to the Shia. The Shia, they believe that all Muhammad family, including Muhammad, they are made out of light. They are made out of light. Of light. Uh, Shia. 
Shia are Jews? No. Shia, they hate the Jews to death. The Shia, they love to kill every Jew in the world. <laughs> yeah, but because they hate them, you know, this is why they call them Jews. Because they hate them the same as they hate the Jews. You know, this is a religion, this is a cult of hate. They hate the Jews to death. Yeah. This is why they call me Jews too, do you know? They accuse me that I am paid by the Mossad. And I wonder where is the money? I mean, that's disgusting. At least send me the money, Mossad. <laughs> Each time I make a video saying that Israel is the land of Israel. I mean, this is the land of Israel. Even the Quran says so. They say he's, uh, he's paid by the Jews. The second you say the truth, it is the same second they accuse you to be a Jew. No? They have already, uh, already accusation, you know. Just say something against Islam. They will, they will make you a Hindu, they will make you a Jew. It depends. No. <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul? I hope uh, a brother answering Islam will call us so he can give me a break so I can go and make some tea. I don't see him coming in Paltok yet, in, uh, in Skype yet. <coughs> Do we have any Muslim? I mean, look at this guy, this cult. Allah forgiving sin of a human being, Adam, the father of mankind, supposedly for the sake of name written in his chair. And why the name of Muhammad is written in the chair of Allah? I mean, obviously, this Allah is obsessed with Muhammad. This God, he had nothing to do. The first thing he do, oh, my name doesn't have name Muhammad here. My my chair, my chair does not have the name of Muhammad. Let me write the name of Muhammad in my chair. I mean, look at this. Guys, let us say you are a father. And you have a child which you love very much. Are you going to write his name in your chair all over? <laughs> I mean, what, what's wrong with that? The name of Muhammad is written on the chair of Allah? Why? What the problem? Why? Why? Allah will feel ambulance if uh, the name of Muhammad is not there? Huh? The chair of Allah will not look beautiful? He needed the name of an Arabian boy to be written. This is God, the Almighty, the one who created the heaven and the earth and blah, 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 blah. And then he needed the name of Muhammad in his chair. And everything in the world is created for the sake of Muhammad. I mean, come on, face it. Look at this is the hadith here. Allah revealed to Prophet Isa, this is now Isa, Allah spoke to Isa, suppose this is Jesus, alayhi salam, said, O oh Isa, have faith. Allah saying to Isa, have faith? <laughs> All right. Have faith on who? In Muhammad. If, 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 if. Here we go. Allah is asking Isa to convert to Islam, but Muhammad is not coming yet. Why Allah is saying to Isa, to believe in Muhammad. I mean, he is not there. So what is the duty of Isa at that time? Huh? To believe in Muhammad? Who is Muhammad? Is God? What do you mean to believe in Muhammad? God supposedly should be worried about people not believing in him because that will lead them to hell. But he's saying to him, Oh, Isa, believe in Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> Look like Allah was doing dawah. Allah was doing a street corner dawah for Isa. So he saw Isa there, Jesus supposedly. And Allah in the corner, he was a corner speaker. He said, Hey Isa, you should you better believe in Allah. Sorry, you better you better believe in Muhammad. So Isa said to Allah, Who is Muhammad? He said, Ah, oh, this is the guy I'm going to create long after you, like 600 years from now. And then Isa will say to him, okay, Allah, why I want to believe in someone who does not even exist yet? 
oh, you better believe from now. Like, don't you never hear, heard of a prepaid belief? <laughs> Ah, oh, that's stupid religion. It's made by the man for the glory of the man. And this man is a horny, corrupt scam. All his concern is his penis and his balls. Yet they claim that he is the most honorable man. And we challenge any Muslim to prove us wrong that this is who is your prophet. Any Muslim. Any Muslim, any half Muslim, what happened to uh, to answer Islam? Answer Islam, are you there? Is he still in the room, or he left? I mean, the chat room looked like he left. He's supposed to call me in Skype. What happened? You want to ask me something? Okay, Yahudi, go ahead. <coughs> Thank you. So I'm confused. Why do they think that Allah is going to uh, punish us for not being Muslim, for not accepting Muhammad, which is basically what it is, because exactly. we believe in God and the prophets. It's only Muhammad that we don't believe in. Um, why would Allah punish us if we don't have a choice? If we were, this is our destiny, this is our fate by Allah. Um, how, how does that make sense that He would punish us? That's what I, I don't understand. And it's your mic. Thank you. That's exactly the correct question. What kind of religion? The same as that little child. Don't you see a Muslim? He's a child. You know, a, ch a baby child who is a Muslim from a Muslim family, still he would go to hell. <laughs> so no, nothing makes sense there because this guy is a stupid he says stupid things you know if you ever met a person he is just wearing a tie putting a, a glasses you might think he is a guy who, who who's a professor in a big university as long as he don't open his mouth you know what I mean we can bring a guy from the mental hospital and put glasses in his eyes give him a nice Samsonite in his hand Make him wear a nice expensive suit. You will think he is a scientist in NASA. As long as he don't talk. The second he start talking is the same second he start doing poo-poo. And that is exactly who is Muhammad. This is a poo-poo guy. The more he talk, the more he make poo-poo. You don't talk, you do poo-poo. I challenge any Muslim as listening right now. To choose from me one chapter in the Quran is poo poo free. Anyone? I challenge you. Yeah, I said I said poo poo in the church. You see, you know, guys. Uh, uh, once I was doing a seminar, and the minister of the church he wanted to introduce me, and he want to make it easy on them because later those guys they will see. <laughs> That this guy is different so he starts saying to them you know christian friends is not you no know, like uh, uh, like uh, uh, like the kind of uh, person we use to people see like he's trying to make it it's like there's a bomb is going to explain you know what I mean? <laughs> he's trying to, pre to prepare what is coming <laughs> anyway so when I was doing my presentation, I said to them, I was showing to them something in school like this, you know. I said, this is poo-poo. People in the church, it's a huge church. They start looking at each other saying, what what, what he said? What is it? I said, I said, poo-poo, 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 you know, poop. <laughs> and then this is the first time. And the church ministers, the, the elders, they were looking at the crowd and see their reaction, you know. They never have this before. Like, come on, you're in the church, right? So, and then I showed them the second hadith, and I said, this is poo-poo. And then I showed them the third hadith, and I said, this is what everybody in the church, he said, poo-poo. <laughs> well, this is the truth, my friend. It is poo-poo. Muhammad, he don't talk. Muhammad, when he talk, he do poo-poo. Right? 
and I am here to challenge anyone to prove me wrong this is Pupu what do you see in the front of you is Pupu this is a guy he is trying to pray to make himself God God himself is going and doing da'wah he is inviting Jesus to believe in Muhammad why is Jesus as a kafir any Muslim can answer why Jesus who is exists 600 years before Muhammad need to believe in Muhammad what does that mean Any Abdul? Why a prophet of God? Muslim they say that Isa is a prophet of God. Okay. Why Jesus, who came long before Muhammad, need to believe in Muhammad? Is not saved yet? <laughs> that is Pupu, my friend. <clears throat> that is Pupu. You know, when you live in a country is ruled by Hitler, who dare to say, who dare not to say hi Hitler? Nobody. You know what I mean? That is Muhammad. They don't really, most of Muslims have no idea what Islam is about. But everybody's saying hi Muhammad, hi Hitler. It's fear. This is why you see in the time of Muhammad, the Arab did not want him. They do not believe in him. The day Muhammad he died, tens of thousands of people apostate. Tens of thousands. Go and read history. Go and search right now in Google for the war of apostate. The same day he died is the same day they left Islam. This is how much they hate Islam. It is fear, bloodshed, killing, terrorism. Do you see? You are living in the West and they are trying to, terif to, to terrify you. So imagine about the poor Muslims who live in the Middle East and they're their command. You, you know what I mean? You live in your country and supposed to you have your army, you have your police, you have your system. It's not controlled by Muslims and it's still they are trying their best to terrify you. And you know, uh, uh, Western countries until now do not know really how to deal with Islam even in Israel you know the Israeli government is the most stupid government ever they are very kind very stupid you cannot be kind with terrorists until now they are the one who give them electricity until now they are the one who, who they provide them with everything you believe it until now Im imagine there's a guy who shot and killed Seven little girls who they are children going to school, Jordanian soldier. And what the stupid government of Israel did? They put him in jail for 20 years and let him go. And now he is proud about what he did. Every single country in the world, they have a law. It says execution for the criminals. Seven children's he killed them. He slaughtered them and you let him go you stupid idiot Who is this idiot who let this criminal go? That's why I say is ready to be changed You need a revolution there. Otherwise you will not survive it You see in the time in the time Where you need a real leader if you cannot find him you better create one until now, you don't have a real one. Too soft to stand for such kind of people. Finally, the Israeli parliament, they agree to do execution for terrorists. Finally. I mean, come on. Do you need to wait more 100 years from now? And the European Union, they are upset from that law. I mean, who cares? Get upset as much as you want. European Union is the last one to correct you, my friend. Go and see how much they screwed themselves. We have a 
prior friend, Darius. How are you, my friend? Hey, how you doing, CP? I'm all right. How was, uh, how, was, how was the cold with you? What do you mean by the cold? Uh, you don't have cold? It's minus 23 here. <laughs> uh, we actually got a bit of a break. Um, really? Yeah, it, it's up to about 40 degrees now. Oh, man, here it's, no. it's a freezing. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, it, it feels like summertime. I feel like going out I, to I, I put some, uh, um, some food for the birds, you know. I went uh -huh. outside for four minutes. I did not wear gloves, you know. Four minutes, uh -huh. I cannot feel my fingers no more. And yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, God is amazing how those little birds can survive it, you know. I bought some food for them, and they were coming from everywhere. But imagine we how weak we are, and the birds, how they are stronger than us. Little tiny bird is standing in the, in the branch of the tree, and I am the man. My, I cannot feel my fingers no more. Four minutes only outside. Anyway. Yeah, well, well, see, uh, God gives us what we need. See, right, right. the birds, they have fur, but they're bird brain. Yeah, <laughs> see, well. you, on the other hand, know better. So when you went outside with no gloves on, you wanted your fingers to freeze. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you made the wrong decision. So, so uh, what do you want to share with us, my friend? <laughs> um, a couple of things. Uh, to back up a bit, um, a while ago you asked the question, how many times do I say any Abdul? Are you, Man, are you counting? I have no, lost count. <laughs> you, say any, you say that more than you say, are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> you say any Abdul a whole lot. An awful lot. <laughs> did, 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 uh, you, did you watch the video of this guy? He called the uh, Titan something uh, TV, TV, Titan TV. Is an uh, uh, he called me like two weeks ago. I don't know if you saw it. This guy he was saying, I love to listen to Christian Prince, especially when he say Alu. <laughs> <laughs> I think I missed that part. Um, I remember something about a guy from Titans TV. Yeah, he's uh, you know like he's speaking about it. it, it the, the the video is called the uh, Christian Prince G Gazmi. Oh, uh -huh. I don't know what like it's. I mean, anyway. So I listened to it and he was funny. He was talking about what he liked about me, especially when I say "alu." <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Well, okay. I see the, the people in in the uh, PowerPoint saying that they can't hear me; they only hear you. Uh, that's because I'm calling on Skype, not in Pal Talk. So. Uh, yeah. If somebody can get that message to them, let them know that's why. Uh, um, it's strange. It should uh, it should lead to there because my uh, speaker is, is linked. Uh, yeah, I think this is the problem. I need to find a software to find to, to fix that. It's okay. Well, uh, we will tell them later what you said. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Well, they can. Yeah. If you guys, if you want to hear him, what he's saying, here we go. This is the link of YouTube. You can you can mute Pal, uh, Pal Talk, and they click at the link in YouTube, and you will hear what he's saying. That's very easy. All right. Go ahead. Yeah, um, because one thing I actually wanted to um to the lady the lady in Pal Talk, Anna, uh, she she's asking questions about Islam, and, and it it seems like she's looking for a consistent theology, you know, reading the text and trying to develop a theology from the text uh, of of Islam, and I was just going to save her the trouble and get to the bottom line. Tell her what the bottom line is. The, the bottom line of Islam and all the hadiths and everything else is that Muhammad is supreme. That's the bottom line. And she would get a, an easier understanding of it if she kind of walked through the history of it. And at every point, she would ask herself, how does this help Muhammad? You know, when, when this verse was revealed, how did it help Muhammad? Because that's what the Quran does. It it serves Muhammad. Uh, the idea is not really to, it's not to, to bring us closer to God. You know, it, it's... To be the slave of it, Muhammad. Yeah, that, that's what it is. It, it's, it's not to bring us closer to God, it's, it's to put us under Muhammad. Under the feet um, of this man. Right. Under Muhammad. And, and, and you see that throughout. It's, it's, it's really the only consistent thing. Uh, everything else you see in one place, it will say this idea and then the next place it's against that same idea but the supremacy of muhammad 
That is the point. Doesn't undermine that. You know, if Allah makes a rule and Muhammad wants to go against it, Muhammad. lo and behold, yeah. <laughs> there is a verse. Muhammad, Muhammad is the winner, right? That's it. <laughs> who cares who care what Allah says anyway? I mean, Muhammad, he says something, that's it. That, that, that's it. That's it. I mean, <laughs> and and you should, should look at it in that light. And like you say, it, it's a polemic. Well, it's not a polemic. It, it, it's an idea to, I don't know what the word is, a propaganda to that effect. At first, to give him supremacy over the other Arabs and the people around him. Uh, and this is Darius Cole talking. This is Darius talking. Um, to give him supremacy over the people around him. And then when you look at the verses and such, it is to... It is to apologize for Muhammad to cast him in the most favorable light. Um, even when we look at the things it says about Jesus, it, it is to keep the idea of Jesus underneath Muhammad. You know, that's, that's what it is. Uh, let, let me tell you how, how, how a Muhammad looked like when he try. <clears throat> Somebody is trying to call. Give us, give us a few minutes, please, and you can call back. Look, look at this picture, uh, Darius. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I actually, hold on. I'm muted. Yeah, this I'm, is this is how a Muhammad and he looked like when he is when he received verses about the Quran or in the Hadith. <laughs> you know, he is like, uh -huh. like what? Huh? Huh? <laughs> it must be true. Must be true. <laughs> <laughs> It must be true for sure. I mean, this is amazing, astonishing. I'm very astonished. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when the prophet he start talking about science and how, how Allah he make babies. <laughs> yeah, and all that stuff, and they just you know explain the way you know, and you know so because she you know she was asking questions of why they say this and why they say that and this about the Jews and that about the Jews. Yeah, most of that is just looking for permission slip they need something to scapegoat so yeah. <laughs> looks like jews is it i mean <laughs> god knows they, i should ask her said <laughs> they they do an awful lot to muslims though don't they <laughs> what is it uh what how many jews is it in israel five five six million yeah but you know the the problem is those jews <laughs> 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 you see the jews are winning brother because the genies are fighting with them because they, they did I everything. can show you I can show you there's videos in YouTube this is serious this is 2017 you know the Muslims huh. believe as an example wh wh why the Assad in Syria he did uh, defeat them in uh, in Aleppo as an example they claim that he came and he called for the help of the genie there was genie fighting with him in the field it's not the Russian airplanes <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry did you say Assad <laughs> the Assad, the, the the president of Syria, why he won? Like not because he is destroying them all oh, over, no. you know. So why mm -hmm. he won the war against them? They claim that the Assad, the Shia, they called for the genie, the Shaitan, to help them, and the genie <laughs> he sent an army, and he was the one who was shooting at them and killing them. It was not really, you know. There's somebody is calling like many times. Let us see. C can you hang, hang up just for a minute? Maybe it's a Muslim. I don't want to waste yes, the chance yes, for Abdul. No sweat. Right. No sweat. Yeah, the guy who is uh, sending many messages, you can call now. You know, this guy is sending many messages. I don't know. Call me. The one who is sending messages, trying to call. Go ahead. There we go. We made him hang up for you because he kept calling non-stop. <clears throat> Are you there? Now, don't tell me now you, you will not call no more. We made the, our brother here hang up. Hello? No call? Okay. Yeah, no, we are waiting. Give him some time. Maybe there is some delay. The Muslims, they are people who live in fictions and stupidity. And then they, they blame anyone for things they cannot accomplish. Like why uh, uh, there is there is a there is a comedy, an Arabic comedy, 
about a guy he is not able to have sex with his wife and they uh, in the comedy uh, they ask him why you are not able he said how I can do that and the Israeli are taking the Palestine <laughs> I mean, obviously, his his private part cannot function no more because of the Jews, and this is ex exactly what Muhammad he said to them. If you remember, Muhammad he said in the Hadith, "If there is no Jews, there is no food will decay, will will be, will be damaged." So he 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 blamed the Jews even for the food to be damaged. Why we have a why we have a damaged food? Why because of the Jews? Look at this. Do you see it? The prophet said, but for the Israelis, meat would not decay. So why the meat decay? What the, why the, mood, the meat damage? Huh? Because of the Jews. This is this is not something uh, something new. They inherited it from the, 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 the madman Muhammad who hate the Jews to death because they expose him. They did not accept him as a prophet. And he revenged from them by killing them, raping their women, chopping the heads of the of, of their men, taking their children as, as sex slaves. Hello. Sign on. I'm making me a one. Oh, why is the vacuum on? Damn it! What? What? Hello? I was calling him back, but I can't hear anything now. Who is calling? How can I help you? Hello? Yes, how I can help you? Oh, <laughs> I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. It's all right. Um, I, have, I have some questions. <laughs> no problem. Go ahead. You are, live okay. on, you are live on YouTube, as you know. Everybody hear you. Well, don't tell me that or I'll get nervous and hang up. Well, you are in YouTube. I don't know. If you want to hang up, it's up to you. We are live. No, I'm, I'm okay. All right. Um, one of my questions is, is, is there a verse in the Quran that actually says that it's okay for men, Muslim men, to have sex with young boys and it's not considered homosexuality? Well, the Muslims, they deny that this is exists in the Quran. However, uh, the Quran promised the Muslims that in the heaven, Allah will give them what it's called gulman, and those gulman, they will not bleed. If we ask the Muslims why the Quran says they will not bleed, they will say, oh, because uh, they will not uh, get drunk, but the bleeding have nothing to do with getting drunk. Same time, why they will get drunk if they are boys and they are the servant? Servant don't drink, only the masters, right? So those are obviously sex slaves, who they are made for the sake of the joy of those Muslims. This is why the Quran described them as pretty boys, and they are very handsome boys, pretty, and they are very white because the Arab are obsessed with the white color. So if, right. you, read, if you read with me so here, not, in chapter you're not 52, talking about the forties. You're talking about the young men that are servants. No, those men. are not young. Those are not young men. Those are boys, not young Boy. men. No, they are not. Bo they are not young men. Those are okay. boys. It says here. This is chapter 20, 52, verse number twenty-four. It says. ويطوف عليهم غلمان لهم كأنهم لؤلؤ مكنون and around them they will be the Muslim they translate this as servant but those are young boys who they are very pretty and very white like like pearls you know yeah. so what is the duty of those boys the Muslim they will say they are servant you know they will uh, serve us but if you know if you have some extra knowledge about Islam you will know that uh, uh, you know in, in the heaven of Allah if you wish to have something you should just say just wish is going to be in front of you as an example right. if, you, if you see a bird in the sky and uh, You like it the bird will be cooked in front of you and then after you eat it There's no bones will be left and there's no garbage and the Quran <laughs> and, and, the, and the Muslim believe that in the heaven and I challenge any Muslim to say it's not true that in the heaven you will never have wrinkles in your clothes your clothes will never be damaged you do not need to do laundry you do not need to take a shower you do not need to wash your hands so what are the servants for if the food comes yeah. to you flying to you in front of you and then the garbage goes disappear and then your clothes will never be damaged and <laughs> and and you will not need to take a shower so what the what the servant for 
what they were serving. That, so it's, a, it's actually saying the, the the boys won't bleed. It says that. Yes, and the boys they will not bleed. But the Muslim they claim that those boys the the word bleeding here, which is an Arabic word, meaning bleed from bleeding from blood. Uh, right. They say uh, uh, what it's meant here that uh, uh, they will not get drunk. But all of us we knew that the Muslims believe that the the alcohol supposedly they will drink there uh it's not the kind will make them drunk anyway so why it says that about the boys well not only that why would getting drunk make you bleed or not yeah they, mm. they, they mean a bleeding from being uh not the bleeding as a bleeding it's like you are bleeding by getting tired and uh, but it's not mean it bleed as a blood but it is you know okay yeah Okay, I have actually you see you see here if you're if you look with me in the screen, I don't know if you are looking. All right. I can't screen right now because okay. I'm on. well that's uh, all right. You, you can look at chapter fifty six, verse number uh, seventeen. Okay. All right. And you will see round about them will serve youth is. Right. And those uses are very beautiful and they are like pearls. And here in the translation Instead of does it say if they're <coughs> girls or boys or just no, it any says kind? they are boys? Yes, they are boys. You know, yeah. the word in Arabic is gulman. Gulman is uh, uh, though like uh, a child. You know, a child who is not yet in the age of being, uh, you know, uh, right. sexual, etc. So he is a he is a young younger child. So those children they will be very white, like pearls, and they are very pretty. Okay, why if they are why first of all. Why describe them that way at all? Yeah, why? why yeah, yeah, such a description. I mean, why you are trying to seduce me by their look? You know, they are just servants. Okay, I mean, who care? I will have a pretty beautiful wife. I understand because simply I will sleep with them. So it's important for me to be to have a beautiful woman. Now, why you are telling me about pretty boys and they are white? I mean, why? What white mean? Why everything in the heaven of Allah is white? So the boys will be white. The women they will be white actually Muhammad not only he says the women they will be white they will be white to the point you can see through their bones yeah I, I know that <laughs> yeah which is disgusting anyway and 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 at the same time obviously Muhammad he have a wrong idea of a beauty because a, a woman she is black doesn't mean she is not beautiful there's there's women who they are black they are amazing they're astonishing their, their beauty is really amazing so why in this heaven only white women and white boys is the reward and why the Muslims cannot enter heaven and they are black because the Quran says The day Allah will make faces white and the day he will make faces black Supposedly according to the interpretation that the day that day the judgment day all the non-Muslims Allah will make them black and all the Muslims Allah will make them white so you will be white before you enter heaven. Allah, he would be made white before he went into heaven. You have to get to, to, to be white, otherwise you want to qualify. <laughs> it is the KKK well, heaven. It is the KKK heaven, you know? So yeah. before you enter this heaven, you, Allah, he will change your color because you aren't qualified if you are black. And then the reward is inside is white creatures, white women. And they are white to the point you can see through, through their bones, which is very disgusting, very stupid. And it doesn't make sense. Where is the verse that says what you just said that w at the judgment day, the people that are Muslims, God will make them all white before they go into heaven and everyone else will be made black? Is there a verse? Yeah, sure. You know, uh, here we go. This is a chapter 3, verse number 106. You can go and read the interpretation of Ibn Kathir in English. Even though it's in English trying to hide it, but it says it clearly that in the in the, in that day, if we go to the chapter 27, verse number 82, it says too that Allah will send a beast. His, it's her name is a Jassasa. Hmm? Uh, and this Jassasa, this beast, will come from the ground and is going to have the stick of Musa's and the ring of cinnamon in its hand. And then the one it hit him in his face, he is a Muslim. Is going to leave a small spot which is white and then all his face will turn to be white and then <laughs> will hit the kafir which me and you with mm -hmm. small spot will make a small spot in our face a black spot and then our face will turn on our body too 
all of us we will turn black and then when the believers and disbelievers sit together they will recognize each other by saying oh black oh believer <laughs> you know what i mean so the believer yeah. is, the believer is the white the disbeliever is the is, is the black person you know right i, I advise you to read the ch uh, uh uh you know uh, uh chapter 27 verse number 82 you know where you can read the interpretation of of this verse which is very funny speaking about the beast will come from the ground and he is going to uh, teach Quran and uh, you know he's going to get uh, uh, the stick of Moses in its hand and the ring of Solomon it's like uh, you know it's superstition and fictions and uh, ring uh, the the Lord of the ring and, and why God want to send the beast coming from the ground holding the stick of Moses and the ring of Solomon and why God he need to do, to separate us between black and white you know if this if the if the point is to recognize who is the bad and who is the good right well right. can god knows who is bad who is wrong or who's 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 uh, good without changing the color well not only that didn't god create all of the different people that have different colors why would he create so many different well this is a different story you know according to the hadith uh like the one in english it doesn't say that actually but in arabic it says that uh, when Allah created the man or mankind he created them from the shoulders of uh, Adam so from the right shoulder Allah he created the uh, the white people and he sent them to heaven and from the left shoulder Allah created the black people and Allah he sent them to hell so this is the destiny that's why we were talking about before about destiny mm -hmm. that everyone have a destiny and the destiny is obviously for the black is to go to hell so the one he is the black he will go to hell according to Muhammad and the one who is white will go to heaven according to Muhammad the Muslim they will say to you no they will say to you as an example uh, Muhammad he have a slave his name is Bilal right and Bilal he converted to Islam and he was the first one to call for Adan which means Allahu Akbar but it, mm -hmm. you know if Muhammad he believed that Bilal is a qualified to go to heaven and he is a good person why he did not free him from his slavery Right. You know why he kept him as a black slave. Bilal was calling for Adhan, not because he it was a choice, because he was a slave. The white Arab, they are sleeping, and he is five a.m. in the morning, going up in the roof, screaming like crazy. And you know, at that time there's no microphone, right? right. Screaming Allah, but nobody wanna do that. Everybody is asleep. The masters are asleep. The slaves right. are the one who do the job. Muhammad, he go to collect uh, money. Who is the one who collect the money? Bilal. But do Bilal own any of the money? No. Do Bilal have a salary? No. He's a slave. You know? So that's in the hadith. In the hadith? Yeah, all the stories in the hadith. You know, you will see Bilal. Uh, he said to Abu Bakr, if you bought me for the sake of Allah, well, re you know, release me for the sake of Allah. If you bought me for yourself, well, keep me for yourself. Because Muhammad died and is still... Bilal is owned by Abu Bakr. All right. Well, obviously, <laughs> like I don't think that Muslims <clears throat> can have they don't have a good world view to understand evil and good. So, I mean, that's <laughs> no, no, they do, they do. Listen, listen. You see, the problem is what is good and what is bad. The, the Muslims have different idea of good and bad. It is right. It is good. To rape a woman, she is not a Muslim. Muhammad, he did that. So this yeah, religion, this religion, fabricate upside down the good and, and bad. You know, the Muslim they use words the same as we use. As an example, the Muslim they say we are against adultery, but Islam, uh, you know, Islam all of it is about adultery. That was one of my other questions. Yeah, you know, it's when you say to me you cannot do adultery, and then you say to me you can hire a woman for one night stand and pay her money, and that is marriage. <laughs> That is adultery. Well, well, not only that, but <coughs> I don't understand the adultery concept for a man. If I understand, if you're a married man, a, a Muslim, and you had committed adultery with another Muslim married woman, but apart from that, if you're a Muslim man and you can have sex slaves, and it's okay for you to rape non-Muslim women, I mean. Adultery is I, not. I, I have, have more than this. I have more than this. What about Muhammad making a chapter for himself in the Quran 
saying any women she can give herself to sleep with him is that adultery yeah a license from God his God saying to him any women she can give herself take off her panty and sleep with you and it's called she offer herself <laughs> I mean Muhammad is married already and he have many wives why God he make a chapter and this chapter only for Muhammad not for the Muslim right so but that's in the Quran it's it wasn't yes. Aisha that no that? this is a chapter okay. 33 chapter 33 verse number 50 so uh, you know uh, uh, any woman open license she can offer herself and then Muhammad right. after he made this verse he noticed that some women they are coming to him offering themselves and they are ugly so he said to himself <laughs> I put myself in, in yeah this is what happened he said to himself man I, I i put myself in trouble now look at those women some of them they are really bad <laughs> you know so now he went he went to withdraw the offer that any woman she can offer herself so what he said he said and it's up to you to delay some for later or reject some i mean like, what <laughs> <laughs> That's so you know? sad. yeah because 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 now the business is not good you know we thought only beautiful women they will come but look like there's a bunch of <laughs> you know yeah so you can you can you this is why in verse number 51 if you go read it it says so you may differ and turn away some or later you know it's up to you like you know so he, he is saying to them he want to give himself excuse why women they are coming he don't want to sleep with them some women but but the verse saying any women he made a mistake he didn't say any beautiful women <laughs> <laughs> he didn't That's say like, yeah he didn't what? say any good looking he didn't say like uh, you have to have certain uh, he, he said any women any believer woman she want to give herself to the prophet so he can excuse my language if her but he you know but then when the when the ugly ones start coming and Muhammad now he cannot accept those so he have to give himself a, a, a way to escape so he made verse number 51 says uh, and Allah told me I may uh, delay some of you and maybe for later and choose some of you for now. <laughs> so sad. What a scam. <laughs> no, it's it's not a it's a scam, you know, and if no. if, if people choose to be stupid this is their problem. So well, you see the, the Muslims the, the, most of the Muslims by the way they knew. But you know who dare who dare Imagine. Well, I have two other questions. I don't know if you have time. I don't have time. I'm, I'm going to leave tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I know that like for female genital mutilation that I know there's the passage that says like what um, Muhammad says when the two circumcised parts come together. And I know that there are like in the Sunna where they recommend that that female genital mutilation or whatever whatever circumcision for women is recommended but is there like a verse in the quran that actually most says most of those things is in the hadith you know it's most even right. muhammad himself uh you know uh, uh, uh the muslim they claim that allah he did some circumcision to muhammad you know uh, right. because i think uh, I, I think the reason for that muhammad penis is holy excuse my language <laughs> and therefore there's no man can touch it except Allah himself so uh, most of Quran mo most of Islam is not really in the Quran Quran is like a yellow pages but it is made by a guy who don't speak good English like me you know what I mean <laughs> like if you try right. to try uh, wh wh what's your name Lori okay I will put you I, I will put you with the letter a <laughs> so if people look for your name they will not find you there so this is exactly what the Quran is It's a yellow pages book and nothing is put in the right place as an example you know you will see in the beginning uh, 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 in the beginning of the Quran it says that today Allah he completed uh, your religion for you you know okay how right. you, how you say uh, I completed your religion for you uh, and this is in the beginning of the Quran today is a religion is comp uh, complete how that can be you know, this is this is a verse should yeah. be exist at the end of the Quran, and but if, the Quran's not in chronological order. That's the problem. There's like nothing. I, there's I, in the Quran, Quran. Nothing in the Quran is logical. You know, like here we go, chapter, uh, 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 chapter five, verse number three. It says, 
you, you don't eat cheese kebab, hummus, etc. There's things you eat and you don't eat. And then he says, and today I perfected the religion for you, completed your Islam for you. Okay, how you complete Islam for us in chapter 5, verse number 3? <laughs> if Islam is completed in chapter 5, verse number 3, that means we have 109 chapters are not needed. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Who decided to organize the Quran the way it's organized? Uh, well, uh, I mean, the, the, the caliphate, the caliphate who uh, Uthman, he is the one who decided how it was going to be, and he burned all the other Quran. However, right, it doesn't matter who organized it. Really, the verse itself is stupid. I mean, what complete religion for you have to do with eating pork? Nothing. I mean, imagine no, I, I say to you, I, I today I, I, I make lawful for you to eat Taco Bell, and today I complete the religion for you. Thank you very much. It's perfect now. <laughs> I mean, what what Taco Bell have to do with this? Religion is about <laughs> eating pork and Taco Bell. What perfect Islam for us? I mean, there's there's tons, there's there's a million a question nobody can answer yet. Until now, until now we uh, we are here questioning Muslims, saying who can answer us and nobody can answer us. And today I completed your religion for you because you said to me you don't eat pork. <laughs> You know, so, so yeah. So this, so, this, this, it's a it's a stupid religion. You know, it's a, there there is a there is a method. Uh, it's called garbage in, garbage out. Unless you have a recycle machine. Now, Muhammad is a perfectly me, garbage in, garbage out. You know, whatever he's yeah, saying, it doesn't I, make sense. And you know, when a, when a fool he talk, don't expect much, except foolishness. <laughs> well, is there like a, a difference, a big difference between? Arabic and ancient isn't the Quran written in ancient Arabic. So like if you speak and read no, Arabic no, There is no really ancient Arabic Arabic is not even a language by itself. Arabic is a collection of languages Right, uh, you know like, you know, actually even in English, you know All languages in the world is connected somehow like you when you right. pray in the church today. You say I mean, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, Amen. yeah, I mean, but this is not an, an English word and this is not an Arabic word the Arab they use it the English they use it the German they use it, but the fact this is an Aramaic word. So you know that the letters you, you the, the the numbers you use in English, many they lie to us and they say those are Ara Arabian letters. Those are not. Those are Aramaic alphabet and numbers at the same time because the Aramaic is an alphabet and numbers at the same time. So Arabic is a collection of languages. People who live in the desert, those are the Arab. They are not even an ethnic group. People mistakenly they think. To be an Arab is an ethnic. This is there's no such a thing. This is why if you look at those go right now, search as an example for somebody from Saudi Arabia. You know, look uh -huh. at the pictures and then look at somebody from Kuwait. And look at somebody from Iraq. And look at somebody from Egypt. And you know, etc. You will find not they don't they don't look the same. For they are not right. from the same ethnic. It's not. So what they have today, they have people who speak Arabic and they call themselves Arab just because of Islam. Just because they speak Arabic, they call themselves Arab. You will see a guy, a Somalian boy, who have nothing to do with the Arab, denying his African root, claiming that he is an, a white Arab. Because they are, they, you know, uh, what Islam does, make every Muslim, it's like an honor for him to be an Arab. You know, right. This is why you see when Osama bin Laden he went to Afghanistan, he became a big shot. Why? Because he's an Arab. Like it's a big deal. I I, <laughs> I, I know a guy. He went to Al Bosnia. You know, in, in Sarajevo, uh, he was a student. He's an Arab Christian, and mm -hmm. he, he uh, for some reason his family stopped sending money for him. You know, they cannot send money for him, so he's looking for a job. A friend told him those people they are looking for an imam in the mosque. <laughs> he said what? He said, do you like to work in Imam in the mosque? Imam is the one who lead the prayer, right? He right. said, because you speak Arabic, you can do it. Said, but I'm not a Muslim. He said, who care? They don't know. <laughs> 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 they told me about the story. I said, shame on you, man. This, how you do that? So this, this guy, he went to the mosque, and he went like for six months there. He is reading for them Quran, and he's told me, most of the time I'm saying things have not, it's not even in the Quran. Like I'm, I'm just making fun of them. And nobody knows what I'm saying. Just because it's Arabic, and everybody say at the end when I finish, I mean, I said, okay, thank you. I have to go home now. <laughs> so it was, a, you know, 
they, they, most of them, they have no idea what Islam is about, especially those who don't speak Arabic. Like if you go to countries like Indonesia, Europe, they praise Islam too much because of their ignorance. The, right. most, the ones who speak Arabic is the most who laugh at Islam. But there's two kinds of them. There's the one who laugh and is not shy of them, you know, shy of saying it. But most of those, there will be people who live in the West. And there's people who laugh, but secretly because they will get killed if you say that in public. And that right. that is, uh, you know, what, what the Muslims try to keep under the ground is not to give a freedom because the second you give a freedom, Islam will collapse. I don't know if you if you if you saw in YouTube the uh, the strikes in Iran against the mullahs government. Right. All they those yeah, their, yeah. All, all of those on the street are against Islam. All of them. Right. All of them. You know. So uh, just give a freedom and you will see. Islam will collapse in Iran. I guarantee you, if the Islamic government of Iran collapses, Islam will never come back to Iran again. Because now those Muslims there, who they are Muslim by name, they knew what is the real Islam it is, how ugly it is. Right. But do you think the people like the top leaders and scholars that, that read and study, do you think they really believe uh, some of them, some, some of them, you know, like it's a it's a business at the same time, you know, it's a big business, and uh, uh, you cannot imagine how much money you 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 will make if you uh, if you are in that position, you know. They they, yeah, they, the they, they, they live like kings. They live like kings. You know, there is all the scholars who live in Saudi Arabia as an example. They have big, huge villas. You know, like uh, there's there's a guy. They made an interview with him. They told him that your villa cost almost twenty seven million dollars. You know. And he said, uh -huh. uh, why not? Allah gave us the money to spend. Why not? We have a lot of servants, a lot of slaves. And he is supposedly a humble Muslim doing uh, a preaching for Islam. You know, when somebody speaks too much about God, and then he spent so much money on money and on, on a, in a house, obviously, he, you know, his religion is a cult because there's millions of people are dying from hunger. You know, right. I need a house too. You need a house. I need food. Nothing wrong with that. But when I spend a twenty-five million dollars or twenty-seven million dollars in a house, and then my people in Somalia, twenty-five or twenty-seven thousand people dying every month, and they are children. Right. So what kind of a scholar I am? What kind of a believer I am? They are hypocrites. They are doing business. You know, uh, like all of them, all of the immigrants that are going into like europe and all of the rapes how or, or, how does yeah, how do know, they I, I, I have a sister I, ha I have to stop you because uh, uh, i have my brother in uh, uh answering islam i do not know if you know him do you know him answering islam um which brother he, his name is answer islam his real name is uh, i should not say to you his uh, his name because he is uh, he don't Sam like Samun. Oh, she said his name. Unbelievable. He don't like to say his name. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm yeah. sorry. I was just yeah. guessing. No, no, I'm just, I I, I'm, I'm just joking with David you. David yeah, Wood. He want to he, he he call me because he have a Bible study, so I have to hang up on you, if you don't mind. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you, and say okay. hi to the guys there. They are laughing next to you. I heard them. <laughs> and tell the guy who is next to you, Allah is watching you. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, call me, bro. I don't see him online in uh, Skype. He's going to call me in Skype or want to call me where? Are you there, bro? All right, well, I don't know. Uh, you want to take over the chat room or what do you want to do? I don't see him in the chat room. Hmm, I'm not sure. Anyway, it's good 
to have people who call and ask questions because that will, will you know it's like you know you have a, a million file in the shelf and if nobody asks the question that shelf that file will not be brought as a topic <clears throat> so it's good always to have people to uh, to call and to uh, uh, to ask questions and for sure I have no problem to answer all right but you know I, I wish it is Muslims who will call I want to see what the Muslims respond you know but look like the Muslims they will not do that because they knew they are they are incapable of giving an answer for anything after we close then you will see the Muslims making comments saying Christian Prince is lying to you you do not know anything etc but when we go on we go on air they disappear it's like uh, the, the mice and the cat it's like a you know a cockroach you turn the light on he hide you turn the light off he's gone. <laughs> oh lord <clears throat> any abdul Do we have any Abdul? We are waiting for Brother Sam Shamoon to call us. Uh, you want to share some with us? And by the way, I encourage you to to join his Bible study. You know, Sam Shamoon is a very uh, passionate person. And uh, he have a you know a great knowledge in the Bible, so if you have a questions about it, just be careful with him because he don't have too much patience. <laughs> uh, he's not like me, uh, but uh, still, you know you will you will have a good uh, time with him, and you will learn. Especially you know like I give him a question, the Muslims they say about the Bible, you know you want to learn. How to refute it? How to answer it? Uh, you are in the right place. <clears throat> All right. Why he left ABN? Well, uh, who, uh, wh why? Why he will not? I mean, ABN is it? Is it? Uh, do he work there? No. You know, I used to do. Go there voluntarily. I don't go there too no more. But I don't like to talk about them. You know, God bless them. God bless anyone who do a work of God, but nobody is perfect. So people they might differ about things. It's okay. You do not need them. They do not need him. Right? Uh, you know me myself. I used to do uh, some work with many people, and we don't do it no more. Uh, no, it doesn't mean anything. Like now, I am invited to do uh, like a TV program with the Christian group, and I told them, okay. So if I go there and I work with them for a week or two or a month, and then I don't go anymore, so what? It's not a big deal. Do you know all the good work is a good work? It doesn't matter where it's done and how it's done, as long as he is doing what he need to do. He did not stop. And, uh, you know, here we go. This person, he is uh, giving you from his time, from uh, his life, uh, time to spend with you. Today is a Friday night, right? <clears throat> Many of, you know, people, they like to go out, have a dinner with friends or family or whatever, you know. But we are with you. While you you guys you are going to go and have your tea and have your coffee and maybe you take a dinner and maybe you are listening to us, for us we are fixed here in the front of the screen of the tea, the, the, the the computer, and me myself I want to go and make some tea but I cannot because I'm the only person here. And the funny the Muslims they think I have a secretary, I have, you know, I have a team, <laughs> I have an army work with me, you know. But uh, uh, I understand why they think this way. You know, they ask themselves, there's no way one person is doing all this work. But it doesn't matter what they think. 
the important is how many people they are going to watch this video and how much they will learn from it as long the message is delivered it doesn't matter how you deliver it and in case you do not know if anyone any of you would like to invite me to his church to do seminars I'm willing to go and it's for free I don't charge money all right it's totally for free um, you know, uh, you know, some fake false people. They uh, they put conditions. Or, you know how much you pay them, etc. We don't do we don't do business here. We are not in the business. If you want to help, you can just uh, buy me the, the the airline ticket and give me a couch to sleep in when I when I am there. <clears throat> And I will pay for my sandwiches. Good. Nothing more. Do we have any Abdul? All right. Look like our, our brother Sam is calling. Hello. Yes, I can you hear me. Hey, my friend. How are you? How are you? Sorry, CP. To, usually Fridays I have a Bible study in my center, but I, I had to call you. What's it's up, my friend? Well, uh, mm -hmm. we are here live on air, and yes. we are talking about many topics. I don't know if you want to share something with us. Sure. I'm like I'm saying, I'm killing two birds one stone. Usually every Friday, seven thirty at the center that I'm part of. All right. I do a local Bible study for people that come in, and so I try to put it on top talk. But today I was going to be talking about simply about Jesus in the Old Testament and Romans 10. I was going to break it down, but your topic is more towards refuting Muhammad yes. and showing that he is a son of Satan. There's no one better than you to do that. But you know what I like? I look forward to CP. Uh -huh. One day, you and me do a conference together. Uh, I would like to, you know. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm going in a few days, I'm leaving the country. Okay. Uh, but uh, maybe. Uh, uh, when I come back, maybe we can do something. Leah, yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to see see you in action in a live audience because I saw a clip that you put. Uh, you were in Michigan. You were teaching a conference there. Actually, right? this is what wasn't in Michigan. This is the, the uh, it was a stuff for me in the airport of Michigan, uh, but we did it in different state. Uh, it was a big group uh, uh, churches. Uh, many churches they are meeting in, uh, in big hotel. And they, uh, they invited me to make a speech about Islam there. Beautiful. <clears throat> yeah. Beautiful. May God keep you open doors and pray for me, CP, that God will use me this year mightily. And I mean, I yeah. left you a private message that says private. You saw it, right? Um, in your Skype. I don't think so. I left it in the Skype, uh, in the thing, in the text. If you okay, open it. Okay. Up, yeah, yeah. I see it now. I see it. Yeah, yeah. You'll see. I need your prayers, bro, because Satan's attacking viciously. No problem. Yeah. But right. God is good. God is good. Yes. Yeah, so, but Lord willing. Maybe next time when you're on live, I'll come join you because I have some people now in the room. I, can, I have to go and tend to them. Yeah. So, hope you don't mind. We'll do it some other time where... Right. Maybe, what, when's the next time you're on? Uh, actually, uh, I have a few days before I leave. So, I might... Uh, today is what? Today is right. a Friday. So, we will be here again at Sunday. Okay. What time, God willing? Uh, Sunday, I will be here at 4.30. Okay, I'll try to come on. Maybe, you know, I'll talk with you, and then we'll talk about topics. All right, my friend. All right, buddy. God Thank bless you. Very you. Much. And you are going to be in YouTube or somewhere now? Well, right now, I wanna, my Bible study, I put it on my talk, talk room so I All can right. record it for YouTube, so I can live stream it. All right. If anyone would like to share and go and join uh, Brother Sam Shamoon in his Bible talk room, uh, please go. The Trinity in Islam, yeah. Thank you so much. What, what is the name of the room? The Trinity and Islam. The Trinity and Islam. Anyone would like to share? I'd uh, like to go there. If you have a questions for him too, he would be happy to answer you. Yeah, it's only on the Bible, though. Let him know. Not yeah, Islam. if you have a question, but you know, if it's, it's still sometime there's a questions about Islam, but they are connected to the Bible. Maybe you can answer. Oh yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because I try to keep this only on the Bible for the people that come Fridays. Not every one of them is into apologetics. So, but yeah, if it's related to the Bible, that's fine. Yeah. All right, my friend. God bless you. And God bless. Thank you. All right. Well, uh, great to have this uh, brother. Uh, 
and uh, you know if you if you uh, if you are a person who have a questions in, about the Bible or something have to do uh, with the Bible but uh, to refute Islam I advise you to go and join him in his chat room uh, now it is already 8 25 here so I think it is time for me to go because I need to go. <laughs> because I need to go. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. Be with us this coming Sunday again at 4.30 p.m. Invite your friends. And as I said, during the time I will be away uh, from the state, uh, you study will receive my videos. So subscribe to my videos. I will be away for a couple of weeks. Uh, you will have my videos posted online and as usual they will be good to uh, watch good to learn from and good to share um, so next Sunday will I will be here and I might open Monday too all right uh, depend on how much I'm busy and then after that you will receive videos of me from me every Wednesday at least and I think maybe every Monday we will see you know but every Wednesday for sure you will have a, a video from me uh, while I am away. Thank you very much. God bless you and see you this coming Sunday again Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon. Bye-bye All right, we have to close the room here, guys. Sorry, I apologize. <clears throat> Thank you for being here, and I hope to see you this coming Sunday. If I can open the room, I will open it again. But now most of you knows where is my YouTube, so subscribe there for better uh, following of what we do. All right? God bless, and see you soon again. Bye-bye.